I'm streaming. We're streaming. And we're streaming. Are we streaming? We're streaming. Um, uh, hi, buddy. Uh, it's me and James. There's no Fifi yet. He said he might join a little bit later. Maybe. 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 Where's Stripman? All right. Let's look at the introduction to this game. <laughs> yes, Pharaohs. I'm here oh. in spirit. There he is. He's there in fear it. <laughs> and and Scott, I don't, I, I don't know if Scott has spirit, but he's here. Oh, Scott's got so much spirit. Uh, how's it going, Brown Bear and Dead Tech Mad Star? Uh, Ultra Child is and doing Mr. Bear good. Man. Oh, we're 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 double bared up. Oh man. Roger Wilco in the next mutation. Oh, uh, sort of. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> of course I have spirit. That's why I'm always a healer. He's fair enough. How's it going, Galaxy Razor? I've lost my ability to pop out chat. Where'd it go? Uh, so this game was not made by both Mark Crow and Scott Murphy, because Scott Murphy moved away to start a family. There it is. And uh, Mark Crow was real mad about it. So he made this game by himself with some help. What? I mean, he got he got help from other people, but none of those other people were Scott Murphy. <laughs> Captain's Log, SCS Excalibur, star date 2709.67, Fleet Admiral Roger Wilco, commanding. Oh, jeez, that's a... what? <laughs> the, Excalibur is on, <laughs> the Excalibur is on course to investigate the mysterious disappearance of several ships in the uncharted region of space known as the Menudo Triangle. Uh, I have no doubt been selected for this mission due to my great achievements as a military leader and matchless diplomatic skills. I don't think so. You're a janitor. I go forward with total confidence in my ship and my crew, and I'm vaguely uneasy. I cannot put memories of traveling to the future and meeting my son out of my mind. Each night my dreams are haunted by the image of the woman he said would one day be my wife. I know she's out there. Somewhere. Uh, take it easy, Mr. Man. And how's it going, Floopy Foxy? But that's not important right now. The fate of trillions rides on the decisions I may have to make in the next several hours. I'm, I'm just too fast for the text. I gotta let it get ahead of me here. As captain of the Star Confederacy's proudest flagship, I must follow the supreme guideline. To boldly go where no man has... No, no, no. Uh, to bravely traverse where no creature has traversed... No, that's not it. Ah, skip it. <laughs> oh, look at him captaining in his captain's chair. This is <laughs> so much more Star Trek than the other ones were. <laughs> oh, the alert! Shields up! Battle stations! Lock weapons! Neutron beams locked! Proton torpedoes armed! Tactical, fire neutron beams, helm, hard to port. <gasps> Get that, Wilco. What in the name of the seventh star cluster are you doing in the bridge simulator? <laughs> Get your sorry carcass out there and back to class where you belong, space cadet. That's more like it. <laughs> uh, and if I catch you in here again without permission, I'll have you tossed out of the academy so fast you'll get warp disorientation. Uh, also, hi, bye, Fluffles. I mean, at least he's in the in the academy. It's a, it's yeah. it's something. It did. It's improvement. Uh, so, Bunny, you say why is there no voice acting in this game? There's a funny story with that because all these games come out are back in the day. They came out on disc first, and then there was a later CD version that had all the cool stuff like voice acting and stuff. They made the disc version of this game, but the company was kind of in a tight spot, so they were hoping to make enough money to do the CD version. They never got enough money to do the CD version. So this this game is like uh, the weird one where 4 has voice acting and 6 has voice acting, but 5 does not. We also don't talk about 6. Apparently. We also don't talk about 6, so, you know, it's fine. 
uh, uh, Space Quest oh, Six, oh, Roger yeah. Wilco, and the oh. Quest of the Silver Skull. Also, the text <laughs> went on without me, so uh, several that's months okay. Have, several months have not been easy for our hero. What with uh, having to juggle between skipping classes, snoozing through lectures, and spending long moments considering the implications of actually o- opening a textbook. Oh, don't do that. Uh, but our fearless former sanitation engineer has stumbled resolutely past those obstacles, pursuing his goal with unwavering determination, blissfully unaware that fate was about to hurl another spitball in his direction. Uh, Bunny, you don't have you don't have to be curious about sex. It's bad. <laughs> Roger, where did you get that swagger? Get out of here with that. <laughs> He's a space cadet now. What are you talking about? He's doing great. He's a space cadet, all right. He's always been a space cadet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now we're we're in control. All right, look around. Uh, what do you want to look at? You want to look at some of these ships? Want we'll to look at all the ships? We want to look at the stuff on the walls. Uh, Starcon Registry lists this ship as the personal launch of Ambassador Ambassador Beatrice Wankmeister from the G Six Quadrant. I dimly recall hearing her name once before, but the effort to remember anything further results in more of a storm of misfired brain snapses and a dull headache. Do you remember that name? I do remember that name. Oh, interesting. Do uh, you remember that name? Of course you remember that name. Of course I remember that name. Uh, let's see, look at this over here. This panel, when it works, allows the user to call up a 3D holographic schematic of the Starcon Space Academy. Oh, helpful. All right. You want to look at any more ships? Do you want to look at? Uh, you gotta look at the other. You gotta look at the other ships. Gotta look at the doors. Gotta look at all the things. An Alpha class strike fighter from the Colony Worlds. This baby has it all: speed, maneuverability, and enough firepower to blast apart a comet. Too bad you'll probably never even get within shouting distance of one in your natural lifetime. Uh-huh. Uh huh. This aging behemoth has outlived its intended lifespan by several decades, and will soon be heading for the scrapyards. Hey, sometimes outliving your for several decades means that you're the only safe ship in the fleet. Right, uh, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Uh, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that Scott outlived his usefulness by decades. <laughs> <laughs> I meant that Scott knows of a very specific <laughs> science fiction uh, saga uh, where the old man ship was the only safe ship. <laughs> Uh, and, buddy, yes, the Steam version is a collection. That's the one I'm playing it off of. No, Scott! <laughs> Scott, just, I am attacked. I met the Battlestar Galactica. Okay. So, so, for the record, you have move, you have look, you have touch, you have talk, and then you have command. Can I not lick things anymore? You cannot lick or smell things anymore. Oh! No. <laughs> uh, so... Says hi. <laughs> <laughs> Furious is furious <laughs> because uh, One, two, one five. yeah. Nah, I guess we can just move on here. Oh, There's okay. nothing else useful in here. Oh, which direction would you like me to go? I can go up. I can go down. I can check some of these doors. Check a door. Uh, let's see if I can look at the door. This doorway is the Academy's bridge simulator. The scene for the latest simulation at Starcon Academy. Probably can't to go. To be that fair, way. to be fair, Tiny. They've removed my ability to lick things. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to give me the ability to lick things and then say, you know what, stop that? I, I think quite easily. <laughs> uh, but mommy, aren't you 200? <laughs> yes, Scott, mommy, aren't you like 200? Uh, oh, we got a janitorial closet. We're pretty familiar with that. I'm going to say I like that Button is slowly getting just more and more... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Precocious? <laughs> uh, got another little hallway here. Uh, the uh, Delton Frigate from the G6 Quadrant. Hopefully a ship like this will one day be yours. Provided, of course, that you can make it through the Starcon Academy's rigorous training regimen. Not a chance! <laughs> Uh, named for his beloved wife, this leaked qu- uh, corvette called Lady Plus Bucker is reserved for the Academy command, uh, Commandant's use exclusively. Recently, several freshmen were disciplined for scandalously altering the ship's name as a cadet initiation prank. I have a feeling I know what they scandalized it to. Yeah, I, I think I do too. I see a uh, uh, like a patch uh, in the ho- in the in the hallway. We should look at that. Uh, how's it going, Camaro and Phoenix? 
Just another interesting but totally useless example of technological engineering at work. Uh-huh. I mean, so you can try to poke it if you want. Yeah. You can't open the panel. It's merely decorative. How dare you! <laughs> right down the hall. Also, hi, Phoenix. Uh, how's it going, everybody? I think the word I was looking for was sassy for bun. <laughs> Good enough. Back to lurking. That's fair enough. Patrol craft was damaged in a skirmish with smugglers on the rim of the galaxy and is currently under holding, uh, undergoing a major overhaul. Fortunately, it suffered less damage than the ship Roger tried uh, uh, tried to place in hyperspace before leaving space dock. Uh, the bulk cargo freighter contains supplies for the colony of Clorox 2. Trainers like this one are used to instruct cadets in space, uh, basic space flight technologies. Due to the relative lack of skill by cadets, the ship suffer, suffer a high rate of attrition. Wow, I really struggled through that. The current, do most cadets. <laughs> the current record for number of ships wrecked stands at three and is currently held by Roger, which includes a notable incident where he totaled a ship without even leaving the hangar. Odds are two to one among his classmates that Roger will break his own record before graduating. <laughs> That's impressive, honestly. He, he's good at what he does. Uh, that's a conference room. I've always wondered what this panel does, but I've never been able to figure out its function. The explanation was probably given in one of the many class lectures uh, slept away during your tenure here at the Academy. How are you going to go to a space academy and sleep through stuff, man? Well, Roger Wilco has saved the, the world uh, several times over. Roger Wilco, you need to stop with that strut. You are not that cool. Again, he's saved the world several times over. How dare I? Don't I don't think so. You know what? I mean, he did, but let's talk to to our classmates. They'll they'll back us up on this. They're gonna kill us. Drop dead, Wilco. All right. <laughs> I like how he drops into a power stance. Like okay. <laughs> We're sl this is honestly Roger Wilco feels like the origin story of Zap Brannigan. <laughs> I mean, kind of a little bit. Uh, let's let's save our game while we're we're here. Let's get a get a, get a save going. Let's look at more ships. <laughs> uh, uh, space cadet. Uh. Let the save do its thing. There it goes. The SCS Lollipop. A good ship. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. This slick little beauty is for sale and can be yours for a mere 10,000 buckazoids. Dial 1555 Good Cars and ask for Fester Blatz. All right. How many buckazoids we got in our pocket? Uh. Doesn't say. We have some. We have buckazoids. It's like a buck, but in space. Yes, it's it's space money. It's funny. Uh, this guy once belonged to the two guys from Andromeda. Or the ship once belonged to the two guys from Andromeda, but was seized when one of them walked out on his ten thousand buckazoid tab in the <laughs> Academy Lounge. Mm, but the other one's not bitter or anything. No, not at all. Uh, I think this is our classroom. Uh, one of the academy's classroom. Currently, the students in your uh, in your space piloting one on one class are taking the Starcon aptitude test. Oh, let's go. Oh, I've walked into a no. wall. No. Oh, do I have As to? As typical with sequels, bun, you tend to throw away your pockets between games. No. Why? Oh, that's just the way to go. Well, a lot of a lot of time has passed. I think. Sorry, I'm late, Professor. <laughs> you mean the oops, Starcon aptitude test is today? <gasps> yeah, we knew that. <laughs> yes, sir, I'll get started right away. <laughs> What's that? Come talk to you after class? Yes, sir. 
All right. All right, let's do this. Now we got a test. Gronko is commanding a Nova class scout ship when he finds himself face to face with three Horak battle cruisers. He should surrender in the face of impossible odds, pretend they aren't there, activate his ship's self destruct mechanism, beam over a pick you up bouquet, or reboot. Right. So, are we trying to get the right answers or are we trying to get the Wilco answers? Uh, ideally, you want the right answers. If you were Roger Wilco, how would you go about getting the correct answers? That this is how you got to figure it out. Now, I suppose can we look at can we look at our neighbor's tests? It's <laughs> 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 oh, so. an anti-cheating bot. <laughs> the Proctormatic 9000 anti-cheat droid floats melodiously around the class classroom, maintaining a vigilant lookout for any student hijinks during the SAT test. Currently, the droid is monitoring you with his visual scanners. Best keep your eyes on your own test. And then we can kind of look around at other students. Cadet Schleppo appears to be dull and stodgy, much like yourself. Uh, Woof, Woof. Is, is the senior class Ambu Jitsu champion at the academy. Uh... Cadet Offbotter is one of the horniest individuals you're likely to meet. Uh... Cadet Antenna has been uh, the brunt of many jokes considering her cran cranial appendages. Cadet Muck Blob likes to keep one eye out for trouble, which frequently causes him to bump into things. <laughs> Check out the brain pan in this guy. He's probably smarter than your whole family. Oh, man. So, so uh, I, I think that once the robot is looking away from us, we should look at brain pan over here. All right. Did you see the answer? Nope. <laughs> it, 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 it did show you. It said it was D. No, I looked over. I, I, I didn't see it. Okay. So now there's 10 questions, and you got to do that back and forth. But to save time, I'm going to give you a trick. Once you do that the first time and you get the correct answer, it gives you the point. For every other answer, you can just choose E. What? <laughs> you, you, you just, just, yep, all, all these answers look good to me. Why? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's a programming error or they just were just like, look, this this quiz takes a while. Just get it done. But but you solved it, so we'll, we'll nail it. Are you sure they didn't make that update it for this version? Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, is that it for the test, professor? Yes, sir. I agree that cleaning the Academy Crest is an appropriate punishment for being late to class. I'll get right on it. Uh, so look, even as a cadet, you're doing janitorial work. I mean, it's what we're good at. I We are re reasonably good at it. So, do you remember things that we've seen previously? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember. A, I don't remember a crest, though. Don't remember a crest, but where would you still want to go first? Oh, the janitor's closet. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's our, it's our it's our new friend, Brain Pan. Oh, let's let's go have a conversation. Take off, Wilco. And then I love how every time someone tells you off, you just slide into that power stance. Like, okay. <laughs> Moving on. Oh man, I, I, there's a heavy pancake discussion going on. Oh, oh is oh man, what the <laughs> heck? Huh? Yeah, don't worry about it. They're, 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 they're settling their, oh, their issues. Oh, oh. <laughs> Go play in the airlock, Roger. Okay. <laughs> Savory pancakes can be good, but not when you're looking for sweet breakfast pancakes. Uh. I like all cakes from pens. Oh man! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, just hey, how's it going, everybody? Lost Wilco. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing a Star War. Oh my <laughs> gosh! What have you done? Uh, it's fine. Uh, we'll just grab some of this. 
You cram the scrub matic into your seemingly bottomless pocket. Um, cram the safety cones into your seemingly bottomless pocket. Helpful. Oh, and I guess that's all you need. Oh, can we not get anything? Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> shove it back in. Dang it, Wilco! <laughs> uh, I was going over fish. Okay, so now you got to find a crest to clean. All right, it's probably in the conference room. Uh, it's not. Well, I don't think you can get in that conference room. Well, dang. It's uh, probably somewhere then. I'll, I'll give you a clue. You saw some people. Doing battle. <laughs> well, yeah. That seems like a dangerous way to go. I feel like if we go down that way, we're going to get ourselves cut. You're a hero who saved the world plenty of times. They're no match for you, and they know it. I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> well, you've taken on the best that this universe has to offer. Need I remind you of Elmo Pug? Uh, yes. Oh. Yes, I do need you to remind me. Uh, he was the guy who we played Nukem Dukem Robots with. Ah. Uh, is that uh, man just playing Missile Command? Yes. Huh. But he's also the security guard, so we can't go past that He, he thought we wouldn't notice. But what can so you see from here? I can see a planet. Okay. What else can you see from here? Uh. One of the nine moons of Nova. What do you mean a moon? That's no moon. Uh, there's a walkway that we can go all the way around, or, or there's like what I'm assuming, like an elevator up, down type looking thing. Mm -hmm. I see a planet. It also looks down there like oh, well, the soil the star con crest is visible from this level. Your janitorial instincts tingle in anticipation of getting to work to clean it. Look, I thought it was like a helicopter landing pad. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if helicopters can fly in space. Uh, this is Space Quest. I wouldn't put it past it. <laughs> I mean, hard to argue. But then... Alright, so let's go down there. Let's just hop off the edge. It's <laughs> just... Ah! Space helicopters. Spellicopters. Because uh, they would require magic to work, so spellicopters are the only way they're going to fly. <laughs> They go schwa, 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 schwa. <laughs> Alright, we should probably put up the cones first. Uh, seems like a pretty good idea. I've pressed the wrong button. Well, save isn't a terrible idea anyway, I assume. Uh, you know what? So, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll give it a quick save. We, we gotta make sure that this thing is nice and clean. Yeah. I gotta put up the cones so that nobody slips on the, on, on our mopping. Roger Boko is just so, like, careful. Well. Consider it. We're a real good janitor. Oh. Well, you put it on all the points? <laughs> no. Roughly. He did. <laughs> yeah. Dang it, Wilco. <laughs> Let's... Ah! <laughs> Boop. Oh, it's not even a mop in a bucket. It's just like a, he's got a spoomba. Yeah, but we ride on. Oh, it's a spamboni. <laughs> yes. How does this thing work? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, now we just got to click around and... Clean the thing. Do, 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 Don't knock over the cones, Lee. Look, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to be a good janitor. Go no, no home, Roger. Uh, this is time, so I gotta be relatively efficient. Get this little middle crest all nice and polished. And then we'll go over here, and we'll clean up this stuff nice and good. Oh, I missed a spot. We clearly got to get all the yellow. There's like visible grime on the yellow. Yeah. Oh, oh I missed a whole swath of it here. Oh, there we go. 
Look how nice and shiny it is. Perfect. <laughs> Power wash mutation. Power wash simulator ancestry is pretty dang weird. Hey, uh, if they slip, we put up the cones. <laughs> oh. As you can see, Ambassador Wankmeister, we run a very tight ship here at the Academy. This institution is the pride of the Star Confederation, one of the best of its kind in the known universe. It's nice to see our tax bucks always aren't going completely to waste, Captain Quirk. Also, his name's Captain Quirk. <laughs> of course. Uh, here we are, Miss Wankmeister. This is the main rotunda. It was dedicated on star date 09-2097.27. Uh, Ambassador? Excuse me, aren't you Roger Wilco, the man who foiled the Sarian some years back? Amongst other things, yes. Not the one that foiled the Sarians was, uh... Wasn't <laughs> that in a, a, a different uh. space series? <laughs> Maybe. But the Sarians were the bad guys in Space Ghost 1. Oh, okay. Uh, suddenly it all comes rushing back. It's her, the woman from the Hollow Disk in Space Quest 4. Now's your big chance, Roger. Say something clever and romantic. Don't do it. <laughs> er, um, the, I, the, uh, um, yes. Way to sweep her back on her feet, Rog. <laughs> nice to see you haven't lost your golden touch with women. <laughs> Perfect. I, I feel like we nailed it. That's a good, good, good opening line. Yeah. Excuse me, Ambassador. We should be heading to the conference now. Uh, you're not at all what I expected, Wilco. See you around. Uh, hold on a minute, cadet. You missed a spot. <laughs> it looks like you missed a spot. How could <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Bun, uh, I absolutely expect this uh, to. Oh, so you better watch your staff. The floor's still really wet, and a little, just a little bit. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Slippery. <laughs> hey, we put out the cones. <laughs> uh, nice rug quirk. Is that a toupee or a roadkill? Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, just could realign it real quick. <laughs> Arg. You did that on purpose, Wilco. I'm placing you on double secret probation. One more screw up in your space cadet days are over. It's double secret. All again. <laughs> I'm like, stay out of the cones. So Bunny wants to know if you've ever played Kingdom Rush games. Kingdom Rush. It does not sound familiar. Don't forget to get the cones back. Uh, no, I well, guess you can leave the yeah, cones there because it's still wet. I was going to say it's slippery. Okay. So we finished cleaning up. Now what do we do? We need to go peek in on the conference. Okay. Let's go find the conference room. Uh, Lee, you food or no? I, I I did eat today. In fact, I I have something new today. I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, there's a space oh, rat. Oh, there's a critter. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, and there he goes. Are you getting into trouble? It's fun getting into trouble. Oh, let's see what the space rat does. The Grade Master 2000. Gordon F failed. Albert Einstein failed. <laughs> Roger Wilco, hold on, processing. Oh, he's a... Oh, jeez. <laughs> don't, don't mind that. <laughs> oh, what was that? Excuse me, Captain. You didn't raise your hand. Wow. <laughs> now, as I was saying, Ambassador Wankweister, we're on a fairly remote installation. I simply can't spare ships to launch that kind of operation, you suggest. I'm afraid you don't understand the potential ramifications of this problem, Admiral. If the sludge bandits continue to illegally dump toxic waste wherever and whenever they choose, the environmental consequences could be staggering. Entire planets could be devastated. I think you overstate the issue, Ambassador. Even so, we have more than enough ships on patrol to put a stop to these sludge bandits, as you call them. 
<laughs> just Roger just plants his face on the window. Yeah. Uh, look, Ambassador, we have top-notch ship staffed with the finest crews in the galaxy. Starcon accepts only the best and brightest for fleet training. You look, Rughead. Illegal dumping is going on in your sector right under your polyweave. Our patrols have located dumping sites on four planets in the G6 Quadrant alone. <laughs> uh, hey, this is made from real hair. Er, um. uh, I've already transmitted the coordinates to Starcon Central Command, along with a list of suspected sites that we haven't been able to check out yet. Well then, that settles it. Captain Quirk, you shall go to these sites and investigate Ambassador Wankmeister's, uh, Meister's allegations. Admiral, I'll be going along as an observer. I'm afraid that's impossible. Regulations strictly forbid civilian participation in military operations. Uh, Admiral, I think having the ambassador along would be a good idea. I'm sure the two of us can develop a productive working relationship. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Admiral, may I remind you that I'm an official representation of the uh, people of Quadrant G6 with full ambassadorial status and I'm such not subject to... Now, now, Ambassador, I'm sure Captain Quirk will do everything necessary to resolve the situation. There's no need for you to hinder him on this mission. This is my system and my people we're talking about here. Go on that ship and that's all there is to it. Case closed. We're adjourned. Good day, gentlemen. I don't think they're all gentlemen. <laughs> oh, great. The savior of the universe and all his glory. Isn't there a mop somewhere with your name on it? Damn. Just got I mean, to be fair, she's in a bad mood. <laughs> Just, uh... For reasons. Way to go, Raj. Another sterling performance. That man just fell asleep the whole through the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, it happens. I caught the jerk trying to sneak some answers off my test. Shh, did nothing comes. of the sort. I only snuck one answer. Oh, this is awful. I totally biffed on my SAT test. I'll never make captain now. Eh, that's too bad, Cadet Schlock. Uh, how'd you make out, Roger? I haven't seen my score yet. SAT scores for our classes are posted on the bulletin board, Raj. I'm sure you made out better than I did. Oh, now we gotta find a bulletin board. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, probably up this way. Probably. Uh, Bunny wants to see more of Natty. It largely depends on how well, how well it does on YouTube, as with all things. Yeah. Uh, and whether or not the audio gets copyright slammed. <laughs> uh, this one hasn't yet. Uh, so yeah, like as I was saying before, I have this new Coke flavor to try. It's limited oh, yeah. edition Move Coke Zero flavor. Same great taste, none of the calories. Except I don't know if it has the same great taste. Oh. Oh, that smells... Not what I expected. Uh-huh. It's very... Pungently floral. Yep. Coke keeps coming out with all these weird not flavor named drinks like move and dream and stardust none of them have been good <laughs> i'm trying to place what this tastes like that seems to be the common problem yes it's not good Let, let's no. just let's just throw that out right away it's not good Furos, you can have your caramel jazz. I want Pepsi Blue. I'm going to just put that aside, and then I have my backup regular Coke Zero for just such an occasion. Same great taste, none of the calories. <laughs> this is a food critique scream now. No, it was just a, I wanted to try that one drink. and So the, the real question regret. is, Lee, do you taste the coconut in there? Uh, is, you know what? That might be what it is. It's is. It's got a taste. And I'm like, Alea, Alea said it tasted a bit like a pina colada. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what no, that no. is. We, we move. I looked, I looked up to make sure. Yeah, yeah, that was the more recent one. People online were like, I don't know what that is. Pina colada. That's what it is. Pina, pina colada. Some people were like, it tastes a little bit like a rosé. <laughs> I'm not a pina colada guy, and it tastes a lot like a pina colada, so... Yes, yeah, Scott, you might like the pina colada. Uh, I thought that was a window. But since everybody's huddled yeah. around, I'm guessing it's the bulletin board. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if we can't sneak Call our way over. Rum. I'm going to say it. Oh. But, Furos, do you like Make It Love at Midnight on the uh -huh. dunes of the Cape? 
Cadet Wilco, on behalf of the administration, I'd like to congratulate you on receiving a perfect score on your SAT. Not in the entire history of Starcon Academy has a cadet achieved such high marks. You should be proud. On the recommendation of your test analysis computer system, you are to begin training for Captain Tree along one of our fine star cruisers. Captain Quirk will post your assignment. You've done the Academy proud. Sincerely, current Chief Commanding Officer's name here. I'm I'm sorry. Never in the history of the of Starcon Academy has a cadet achieved a perfect score on a ten question quiz. Correct. It's a very hard quiz. I don't think it was. It was E for most of the answers. Well, there was a rat that kind of helped out. Oh, look, hey. at, look at that smug grin. As he gets his captain's uniform on. He's not. He's just thinking about it. <laughs> Cargo. Also, did he just uh, go immediately? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Having undergone an intensive weekend captain's training seminar on the planet Oakhurst... Roger is shuttled to his new command, the SCS Eureka. <laughs> Look, we got a ship. Uh huh. Hey, that's not a starship. It's a garbage scow. Ah, oh, figures. <laughs> she called my ship a garbage scow. <laughs> that joke will come into play later. <laughs> will it really? Yes, it will. Oh, are we going to have some trouble with Tribbles? <laughs> oh, just you wait. I mean, the Star Trek references have not been lost on me already. Hello, sir. I'm Subcorporal Drool, and you're Nav and Weapons Specialist, etc. Flo's the name. I'm your comm specialist. Grade four. Flo and Drool. <laughs> Hello, crew. I'm your new commanding officer, Commanding Ro uh, Com Captain Roger Wilco. I know some of you may not be excited to be serving on the Eureka as I am, but I promise you this. We're going to be the best gosh darn garbage scow in the entire Star Confederation. Uh, we have nothing to fear but fear itself, so hold your heads high, men. We shall overcome. Uh, all we are is <laughs> dust in the wind, born free, running wild, oh. with liberty and justice for all. So let's be all we can be. Remember, it's not just a job, it's an adventure. It, this really is. <laughs> this really is Zap Brannigan's origin story, isn't it? <laughs> it was the chair, really. Uh. Looks like we got a live one here, Flo. You said a troll. <laughs> Why is it so hard for Roger to be on model? It's just different artists for different games, really. All right. So uh, we're on our own ship. Let's go look around our ship. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can go go leave leave the the bridge. Uh, but even in the same game, he's not model. It's similar. Oh man, we got oh. Wiffy. <laughs> well, well, looky here. Our brand spanking new squeaky clean, neatly pressed captain has arrived. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Um, <laughs> please, my friends call me Cliffy, so you can call me Clifford. <laughs> I'm the chief engineer for the Eureka. All right, Clifford. What the? <laughs> Sorry about the muck, Captain. I dropped my wrench down the head. <laughs> All right, then. Now, if you excuse me, sir, I have some work to get back to. All right. Well, All let's, right. Let's see his work in progress. Well, he's just gonna wrench something over there. Yeah. It's important. It's down here. This is your chief engineer's toolbox. It's filled with gadgets and gizmos Cliffy uses to keep the Eureka space worthy. You no. Know. Huh. Yeah, look around, check out all the different bits and bobs and Oh, hold on, he's kicking <laughs> it now. Uh, pipes like this one carry heated water and tanks with cold water to them, and cooled water to the tanks with hot water in them. <laughs> All right. Engineering section for the Eureka. It's Cliffy's domain, and he's more at home here than a game programmer is at his computer. 
Behind this door is the Yurka's refuge containment compartment. We're gonna need to know that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a, a, a peek at his, his, his the, the Grandmaster's tools. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, all sorts of things. Oh, what kind? What kind of stuff do you think looks interesting? Oh man, it looks like a half pa open pack of gum. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll take it. I think it might be handy. We take it with us. I mean, I feel like we could do that for the entire for the entire toolbox. If we're being honest. <laughs> no, it'll it'll oh, say you don't need it if you don't need it. Let's say we've got. Uh, this looks like a gun. Well, now we have it. All right. We got, yeah, there's a little dust buster. Can we take the dust buster? Yeah. Look, we can. No. Uh oh, touch my tools and die. Huh. Uh, I have a feeling we're in trouble. Was that a lug nut? <laughs> it was a um, thing. Uh, oh, I why I can't brain. I'll look at it in the inventory in a second. Okay. But yeah, but yeah you, you, you can punch? test all of these things. Yeah, that was a hole punch. Yeah, we might as well we, test we everything at this point. Let's... We took a laser cutter. A lot of this is just garbo. Because you could just like individually check all of these things yeah but that's why i was just like eh and then just look i'll put everything back where it was cliffy exactly where you left it uh -huh. <laughs> the exception of the things that i stole i mean borrowed yep. i mean stole. I'll rivet okay so look at some oh, of the oh, things yeah. that we took this is a circuit fuse a high voltage ah. circuit fuse okay and this is Novart antiacid tablets. Okay. This is a laser cutting torch. This might come in handy if you lock the keys in the car again. Uh, we got a hole punch. Just a hole punch. And then something we didn't pick up but was in our pocket since we started being a captain. It's a Starcon standard issue PCD, personal communication device. All right, then. All right. Uh... So can we go check out uh bonk 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 got it he, look he's the engineer he knows how to fix things yeah <laughs> this is the engineering department they're playing pong up there they are playing pong up there this computer is running a highly complex virtual reality program at the moment ah important very important Room serves the Eureka as both a transporter room and a science lab. Needless to say, this has led to some interesting experiments by rambunctious crew members in past voyages. Hmm. Okay. All right. So. Look around at all the things. Cliffy has rigged up a handy voice uh, activation feature to the Eureka's transporter unit. Originally, he tried using the clapper, but after an embarrassing accident involving visiting alien diplomat and a dropped wrench, he opted for the current setup. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, let's see. A Habitube brand adaptive biological specimen container. Station is manned by the Eureka Science Officer on the rare occasions when the ship is able to retain one. Okay. Uh, no, no, that's just the regular generic room thingy. Red yeah. deadline streak across the face of this display. The output bears a startling resemblance uh, to the your most recent EEG readings. Hmm. Huh. All right, then. Well, I think that's all we can really look at in here for now. Yeah. So let's, uh... Well, let's, let's do, do some cabineting. Sure. Uh, Lee, did you put co-op and multiplayer as stream tags in general? Uh, typically not, unless the game is traditionally co-op or multiplayer <laughs> because everyone has a hard time with it. Uh, well, let's go sit in our chair. It will make that noise every time I sit down. Oh, good. So it is the chair. <laughs> All right, and here we are. Uh, what do you want, sir? Since we were working together, I thought it'd be nice to get to know each other a bit. What was your previous posting? 
what happy set of circumstances left the Eureka captain's chair open for me, or never mind? Mm -hmm. All of those are important things, I think. We'll just go down the list. Uh, I'm sure you did, sir, but it won't. Oh, perfect. Sheesh, you poured vinegar in your breakfast place this morning. My life stinks, and it's all your fault, sir. Oh. I don't follow you. You're a man, right? Yes. Well, there you go. Oh, understandable. All right, fair enough. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Previous posting. Previously assigned to the phlegma, sir. But the self-important male swine, I mean captain, and I didn't see eye to eye to eye. He was just like my fourth husband. You'll have to excuse Flo. She has a bit of a problem dealing with male authority figures. She's really not so bad once you get to know her. Can it, lobster boy? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. This game was made in the 90s, right? Yes. Very early 90s. Oh, yeah. Uh, what happy set of circumstances left the Eureka captain chair open to me? Eureka's previous commanding officer accidentally fell out of the airlock without a spacesuit. Hmm. Hmm. That's terrible. If you say so, sir. Hmm. Mm. Uh, what about I you? have concerns. Tell me a little bit about Shift Jewel. My personal life is none of your business, sir. I'm just trying to create a friendly atmosphere here, Subcorporal. We may be together for a long while. Doubtful, sir. <laughs> so we, we, we have confidence. How long have you served on the Eureka, Subcorporal? Too long. As soon as my tour is up, I'm out of here. Why is that, Corporal? My career in Sarkon hasn't exactly skyrocketed, sir. I rather hoped I wouldn't spend the last years of it on a garbage scow. Well, maybe there's something I can do to help. Not likely, Captain. Now, if you excuse me, I have to work to get back to. Flo will be fine. Everything is fine. He's going to just tell us to shut up, but we're going to ask that last yeah. question anyway. Stay out of my way, <laughs> sir. Well. All right. Well, why don't we start commanding people to do stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, Jesus. So, we can land a course. We can activate RRS. We can fire. Regular speed, light speed, standard orbit, status report, evasive action, drain shield, lower shields, or never mind. Uh. And then over here, we have hail ship, hail Starcon, hail planet, status report, act busy, <laughs> abandon ship, or cancel order. I like it. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, let's, what, plot a course, I guess? Yeah, I'm just trying to think, uh, we, we yeah, gotta, we... message organization's vehicle bear visible on the view screen. Uh, we also have these buttons down here. Buttons used to speak with the engineering section. Ah. Uh. This button calls up the science section. And this button selects the Eureka self-destruct mechanism. Please don't push the wrong button. <laughs> Yet. This is a Star Trek reference. We're going to blow up this ship. Uh... Come out of high water. I will blow up this ship before the end of the stream. I don't care if we're uh... supposed to. Oh, we need... I guess we... Oh, we, need we, have, clearance? we need clearance. I guess we hail the Starcon? Uh, hail Starcon. Hailing, sir. We are cleared for departure, Captain. We are ordered to proceed to Gangrelaris, P.U., and kiss your ass goodbye <laughs> for refuse recovery missions. Well, all right, then. And now the door opens. So, actually, James, you're at a computer. I'm going to need you to look up something because I forgot to get this ready. Uh, -oh. uh, there's, I believe, copy protection where all of these coordinates are locked by numbers that are in the the manual oh. that we don't have. Mm. All right. So, I need coordinates. <laughs> oh. Huh. <laughs> What is a manual? Well, I guess that the real question is where are we going first? Uh, do you remember the three places? Gangularis, P.U., and Kids Your Ass Goodbye. That is correct. So pick whatever one you like and give me the coordinates for it. 
I don't want any of those. <laughs> Look, we, we have work to do, James. We're All captain right, now. well, let's just start with 20,011. All right. Locking in. Coordinates locked in. Ready to get underway. All right, let's do this. Light speed. We'll go to warp as soon as yeah, we get to the station, sir. Yeah, I say we got to impulse our way out of here first, I assume. <laughs> All right, we're getting out. Yes, uh, the, the codes of the manual were copy protection. Oh, another stealth ship. Always. Where, you remember when that happened before? Yeah. <laughs> we're being followed by a Terminator Fembot. Yep, nuke, maim, hurt, fry, kill, nuke. <laughs> Uh, At that point, could you call them a, a Herminator? <laughs> so, uh, I, I think it's going to be a Harminator. <laughs> TommyMommy.exe. I mean. Uh, I, I do think that she wants to make my insides become outsides. Look, as long as she'll be back. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, what was that? We've been hit by a proton torpedo. A tractor beam's locked onto us, Captain. We're being pulled in. By whom? Get us out of here, drool. <laughs> I'm not responding, sir. Weapon system's inoperative. Oh, don't bonk me, Floofy. <laughs> Alert! Warning! Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, we're being healed, sir. Putting it on screen. Roger Wilco, under the authority of ERGS, Extensively Revised Galactic Statute, 2564.45, Chapter 4123, Sub-Article something or other, I hereby command you to beam down and surrender your person for arrest. Why? Failure to comply with these instructions will result in the destruction of your ship and everyone aboard. Why? Uh, looks like the Gipazoid Novelty Company still hasn't forgotten about that little piece of mail fraud you pulled on them back in Space Quest 2. Even uh, though it wasn't mail fraud, but they're still mad about true. it. Uh, I thought all this was over with after I had, put, had that run-in with the Arnoid back on Planet Flea a few, uh, a few years back. You thought wrong, human. Just goes to show. Never send a mandroid to do a womanoid's work. <laughs> uh, can we come to some kind of arrangement? Beam down to the planet. Your body will be disassembled and sold to various biotechnology firms to pay for the interest and collection fees. That's fair. <laughs> I'm scanning your ship. Any attempt at escape or subterfuge will result in the immediate annihilation of your ship and crew. Uh. <laughs> you have five standard time units before I destroy your ship, Roger Wilco. Transmission terminated. Sprint. <laughs> <laughs> I think she means business, Captain. I agree. <sighs> Could you hurry up and beam down, sir, before she gets impatient and blows us all up? All right. Let's go get beamed. Uh, how's it going, Atribulus? How's it going, uh, Romeo? Uh, James, are you getting the storm, too? Uh, I don't know if James is. I know I'm going to yeah. get a little bit of it. I'm probably going to get some rain at best. She's not going to get me without a fight. Whatever you say, sir. But nice knowing you. Uh, let's uh, do a quick little save here. Uh, it's a bot battle. <laughs> Tiny, not if I do it first. Hit the self-destruct button. <laughs> No, because she said that she'd kill us within five minutes, and I think the self-destruct timer is ten minutes, so she's got us on a technicality. Dang! All right, well, let's head back this way. 
Alright. How's it going, Hound Dog? Car literally tipped over while you were at work. The storm was early. Well, I'm glad it didn't tip over. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. How's it going, Mercy Rose? Uh, you still just kicking away over here? Captain, that torpedo knocked out the warp or warp drive. We're sitting duck for whoever that was out there. By the way, why'd they shoot at us? That island android is after me for something I did a long, long time ago, Cliffy. She's threatening to blow up the ship if I don't beam down to the surface. Uh, what do you do, sir? Inhale? No, nothing like that. I ordered something through the mail and forgot to pay for it. Mail fraud's a very serious crime, Captain. I wish you luck. I didn't forget but to pay didn't. for it. It was free! <laughs> Dang it! Well, Alright, well, let's go stand on a teleporter and say some words. Uh, strike a pose. Energize! You know, we didn't really set a destination for that. We just sort of... Transported. Yeah, it knows. <laughs> Meanwhile... That seems impractical, but cool. <laughs> it's not bad. I get it, though. It's a bird of prey. <laughs> she can fly, and her ship is invisible. Helpful. Let's, uh, see what we can do here on this island, trapped with a murderous robot. Yeah! Oh, oh. here she comes. Oh, she went to say oh. something, and I clicked that because I was scared. Uh, how do I... There's a door up here somewhere, I think. Well, and I'll, we're dead. I'll never find it. Nice reflexes. Well, your mail here remains home in an envelope. Uh... Oh, I'm gonna have to teleport down again. I assume this happens regardless of which planet you choose. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't remember. Now we can see what she said. Yes, it was all part of my plan. Cliffy's in here this time. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Let's get up on the teleporter here. No. There we go. This is like, teleport me! <laughs> Cliffy's just hitting things? Yeah, that's, he's the engineer. That's what they do. Meanwhile... Uh -huh. As soon as this cutscene is done, I'm going to do a quick save right here, just in case. <laughs> how else are you supposed to engineer? I mean, that's how you fix things. You hit it until it stops being broken. Okay. Quick little save right here, now that we've watched all of the things for a second time. <laughs> Percussive maintenance, yes. Uh, Alright. See if I can't figure out the, the trigger to leave the screen this time. Oh, I missed the text again! You did it again! I knew it was coming, and I did it wrong. And it looks like you got... Oh, no, you made it through. Okay. Okay. Whew, that was too close. You better keep moving, Raj. That WD-40 android won't uh, give up until you're a smolting pile of hero salsa. All right. 
Uh, uh, the fact that she has a cloaking capabilities only makes matters worse. I wouldn't give a ten buck as for your life right now, uh, Raj. So there's, uh, a door to the left, and there's a way to the right. What are you feeling? Go right. The, the loading transitions are yeah. so much worse on this one. Now let's cross the, cross the log. <laughs> Hiding. Yeah. All right. Where, where to now? I don't know. To keep going and going the caves on that side? Sure. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's where her ship uh, is. That's cool, but I feel like we're not ready yet. Okay. Well, that's the only thing here, so we'll have to go back. Let's see. Can't quite reach this piece of fruit. Perhaps if your arms were longer. Uh... Can we climb on onto that limb on the other side of this log? There's some like vines and stuff up there. Nope. I, I didn't oh. want to get back in the log. Thank you. Uh, what if I like. No! Oh, but we <laughs> potentially have a tree branch. <laughs> float, float, <laughs> float. Yeah, let's grab that tree branch if we can. I feel like we can use that. All right. Now we got a branch. Oh, well, now we can reach those fruits, maybe. Now we can reach those fruits, maybe. Why does it keep sounding like Homer Simpson? Because it's a funny sound line. Pretty much. Run! Walk jauntily! <laughs> Why does this game feel like it has problems with loading? Because, I mean, this game is meant to be played on a very different computer than what it is being played on. DOSBox can only do so much. Uh, so what if I... Just go. Eh. I have to get closer first. Eh. Poke. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Eh. That. Eh. Oh. Poke. You managed, right. to, you managed to grab one of the pieces of fruit and liberate it from its swinging cluster. Then shoving it into your pocket, you add to the increasingly impressive bulge in your uniform. Uh-huh. Oh, my. I'm not sure what that's going to do for us here. All right, well, the right is a dead end at the moment. Yep. We do have an area to the left we haven't explored yet. Yep. So let's go check out the other side. And We, we got a couple of items here, so I'm just going to give us a nice quick save. <laughs> save in the log? Yes. Yeah, the old log save. Perfect. But uh, we're, we're doing good. You got a stick and you got a banana. What else do you need in life? Not much. All right. So let's check out door number two over here. Roger really is not in much of a hurry. No. Considering there's a murderous fembot. Alright. Guess we'll go to the, the one place where it looks like you can go. Aww. Oh. You see your steps. 
Oh, okay. Oh, uh, doesn't look like she likes water. Okay. Yeet. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is like impossible to figure out, so I'm just gonna click I that was, boulder for you. I was actually gonna yeah. say that that looks like that, that is a precarious rock. Can we use like the stick to get some leverage on it? Oh, look at you. I forgot we even needed the stick for that. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Take that, lady. <laughs> Looks like you bowled her over with your ingenuity, Raj. She's Boo. cooling her jets at the bottom of that pool below. Nice work. Boo. Uh, what's in here? I forget. Can we even go in there? Oh, there it goes. He, he was really particular about getting in there. Oh, oh. It just pops out out here. But there's no, a, there's no walkway there. I was gonna say, is it a, is it a hop down? No, we gotta we gotta take the long way, I think. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look, Roger, natural athlete. Uh, so let's let's go back and see if we can't. Uh, Find our, our new robotic friend. If she's dead, she's got all sorts of cool shit we could potentially loot. Maybe she was at the lower pool. She may have gone all the way down. She went all the way down. I'm not gonna take the short route. <laughs> <laughs> For reasons. Oh, there's some angry glowing lights. Oh. Oh, she's not done. By stretching your limited ingenuity to the fullest, you've managed to knock out WD-40's cloaking mechanism. The downside is now she's really ticked off. Okay. Let's leave here, because that don't seem like a safe place. <laughs> See, what you've done is you've made the robot angry. All right. I guess back... Yeah, back... See, we can hide in here, right? Like it's... Oh, hi. I know you're here somewhere, Wilco. Come out and face me like a woman. It's your destiny. So. Do we look at the bot from this angle? This is WD-40, a Mark V Deathstalker Annihilator Android. These units are reported to have a 99.99% .99 kill efficiency. I hope your affairs are in order. We're oh we're and there she goes. We lost we lost our opportunity. Okay. Uh, so you're right beneath her, and she doesn't know that you're there. Right. I'm gonna poke her with a stick. I'm gonna hole punch her toes. I'm gonna. I don't know. What do we even have in the pockets again? I mean, we got the banana here. Can we? What's the banana gonna do, though? Let's find out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? What did we just do? Put the banana in her rocket. <laughs> That's. <laughs> of course. The perfect. The perfect idea. Yeah. The most sensible idea. Of <laughs> put a banana in your. <laughs> you right up the old tailpipe. Yep. I mean, yeah. You did the, it. The electrical fuse would have made so much more <laughs> sense, Scott. <laughs> I, w I hadn't gotten there yet. I was going through the items in the in our pockets being like, what do we do? We poke her with a stick. <laughs> nope, apparently it's shove a banana in her, which... 
90s! You've never heard of, uh, putting fruit in, uh, in a vehicle tailpipe? First of all, a jetpack is only barely a vehicle. And second, no, you put potatoes in there! No, you can do a banana. I've heard banana. <sighs> Cliffy's just like, hi. Hey, Clifford. How respectful of you. <laughs> I specifically said. Hey, Captain. Well, I'll be. You're still in one piece. Unlike her. The ship scanners picked up a large explosion. We drew lots to see who got to come down and collect your remains. Did you win uh, or lose? And, and, and you lost? Nope, I won. But I'm relieved to see you anyway, <laughs> sir. It'll save a lot of uncomfortable explanations back at Starcon. Alright. Uh, I see you got the robot's head there, sir. Been looking for it. Now I'll beam you back up to the ship and we can finish picking up the pieces down here. Yeah, let's get out. Let's loot the, loot the bodies. <laughs> Alright. So you, you did it. Okay. You, you, you didn't explode. That's true. Uh, All right. So now, now that our fancy detour is over, we can continue back on our way to what's the place? Oh, I guess we should probably wait for. Oh, I think you heard Cliffy oh. beaming in. Might be a good idea to give him the android head. There we go. <laughs> is he trying to put her back together? Maybe a little bit. Hey, Cliffy, I have something for you. We don't just toss it. I just wanted you to get ahead. <laughs> no, I. Uh, your sense of humor is surpassed only by your captaining skill, sir. Here, I have something you might be interested in. Thank you for not tossing it, because Roger would not have caught it. <laughs> I was putting this WD unit for uh, WD forty unit back together, and had a couple of pieces left over. Thought you might like a souvenir. Here you go. Thanks, I guess. All right. What what, so, what do you give us? A souvenir. What's a souvenir? It just, it just, just, just go right into our pockets without telling us? Uh, let's see. Looks like this so, thing. Phone? A leftover part from Cliffy's overhaul of WD-40, the Annihilator Android. Okay. Uh... <laughs> What do you think that could be for? I mean, maybe we could try to go back down and do something with our ship. But let's go. Let's go take a peek. Energize. Wait up, Captain. I'll go with you. It's. <laughs> I like how the voice activated teleporter is. Kind enough to understand, wait up, I'll go with you. I mean, Cliffy programmed it. He probably had a fail safe of just a wait up. <laughs> that fair? Oh, wow. Okay. I, I'm i going to assume that I was on the right place because... <sighs> Why did we beam here? I wonder if this little device had anything to do with it. Because we know what's there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say... Let's see, uh... What's... <laughs> How do we get over there? But uh, it it did just uh, just drop yeah. us right where we're supposed to be. Yeah. Donk. <laughs> huh? Uh, duh. Yeah. Walk walk <laughs> around. <laughs> Come on, Clifford. Go on and go on without me, Captain. I'm not gonna make it. Okay. <laughs> See you, see you later. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at this fancy place. That is pretty fancy. WD-40 ship has a Spartan and totally utilitarian interior, indicative of the single-mindedness of which the ship's pilot formerly pursued her victims. This baby's probably rigged with all sorts of lethally effective security devices. Honestly, considering that her ship was designed for track down and murder thing, this ship is honestly too big. Like, it could have been... Uh, 
It's not as shit's cockpit utilizes an unconventional layout and has a vaguely menacing feel about it. The very nondescript nature of this panel, which doesn't uh, set it apart from anything else on the ship, piques your interest. Uh, so, there's going to be an air quotes puzzle coming up. As far as I can tell, you click randomly until things work. <laughs> there might be a logic to it. I've never figured out the logic. Okay. I can figure it out. I'm logic. Uh, aha! This must be where the cloaking devices house. Some sort of locking mechanism. Should be easy enough to crack open. Alright. Oh. Uh, so you oh, can can't we... save it here? We cannot save it here. Great. Alright. Um, can I... Alright, so I guess what options do we have here? Uh-oh! It appears that you've triggered some sort of alarm. Better get that thing and get out of here fast. Okay! Uh, cloaking device is not secured in place. Panel won't budge. Panel won't budge. Panel won't budge. All right, so so we have the four the four thing the four wheelie things. Yeah, and then four buttons to unlock sides. Um, okay, so let's turn the four dials. Let's see. Let's see. Try that. <laughs> All right, one one open. Oh. Uh Two open. What? <laughs> Three open. Four open. <laughs> See? You tell me what that logic was. Okay. Good job. Now get out of here. Um, uh, I guess. I guess. Run. <laughs> No, no, no hurry, Raj. I'm sure that beeping is fine. I've got this. Let's move. Let's move before this baby blows. <laughs> I'd say cool guys don't look at explosions, but those two are not cool guys. <laughs> what are you talking about? Look at Raj. This is a cool landing. Ah, oh, Chief, did that hurt? Look painful. Fine. Perfect. That helped me up. Sure thing. Here you go. Uh, I'll get around to installing this device as soon as I finish my repairs to the Android. All right. You sure fixing her is a good idea, Cliffy? I'm not sold on that whole plan. Trust me, sir. Just because you two had a slight misunderstanding, there's no reason she can't become a valuable member of the crew. I agree. Slight misunderstanding. Cliffy, she tried to kill me. She wouldn't be the first. Well, there's that, but I'm pretty sure I can crank down her lethality setting a couple of notches, after which you will probably only want to beat you severely. It's Perfect. Not, it's not going to cut it, Cliffy. I suppose you're right, sir. It's probably kind of hard to captain a ship if you've been beaten senseless. But I do think it would help to keep, her on your, uh, to keep you on your toes if she took a random swing at you now and again. I like it. I don't want her to so much as scowl at me, Cliffy. <laughs> Come on, where's oh. your sense of adventure? <laughs> All right, sir, have it your way. <laughs> uh, we still need that science officer. Yeah, I know. We're we're in the process of putting one together. <laughs> All, All right. right, I guess back to the bridge. We got. We never actually. I don't know if we actually made it to the planet or not. I'm not sure how far we got. <laughs> That's an excellent question. Let's let's go find out. Oh, everybody in here is slacking off. Uh, we'll do a quick, a quick, quick save. save. Good idea. Uh, new crew. <laughs> yeah. Look, you're you're so irresistible you can't help but get just more people who wanna work with you. Yeah. Why not? Uh one day we'll <laughs> the chair, I swear. 
Uh, okay, so we're we're at a planet. What what planet was this? This was oh, oh this was Kiss Your Ass Goodbye. We did make it to Kiss Your Ass Goodbye. Okay, so that means that theoretically, we just need to go to the next. Uh, oh no, well, we still needed to do a thing here, didn't yeah. we? Uh, let's see. Uh, R. What's the? What is the RRS? I think that's the get the the garbage. Oh, well, that's what we're here for, right? There's no garbage in the range of the RRS, Captain, unless you count the Eureka itself. Okay, well, I, I guess this this planet is already done. Uh, okay. The garbage so we was had the to... science officer. I guess so. So in that case, lay in a course for the next one. Yep. Give me. A... The game, oh. the game crashed. I'm glad oh, I geez. saved. Uh, I'm glad I saved the game. Because if I didn't, that would have been tragic. Oh, it's fine. We can all hear the Sierra tune again. Bing, bing. Uh, okay. Restore old game. New crew. Restore. Man. Save early, save often. <laughs> uh, yeah. The planet didn't alter on, and then so did your computer. <laughs> uh, why restore instead of load? Because that's the same thing. It's just a different word. They used restore back in the day. Uh, okay. Lay in the course. All right. Uh, hmm. we had the other ones we had were uh, Gangularis and PU. So let's go to seven one five five two. All right. Coordinates locked in, ready to get underway. We just ease our way away from that planet. And then light speed. Die, sir. Whee! <laughs> and away we go. Uh, now we have some time. Let's 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 talk to some some people here. Uh, what is it now, Captain? Uh what do you know about yeah. our destination, Flo? Going to Gangulera, sir. Have you had your shots? Hmm. Uh, and how does the refuse recovery system work, Drool? Refuse recovery system, or RRS for short, is the primary means for which the Hoover class garbage cow performs their designated mission. Uh. The underlying system is relatively simple. A vacuumatic containment field works in conjunction with the tractor beams to suck up debris and space trash. After collecting, refuse is moved into the Eureka's quantum garbage compactor, where it can be reduced for transport to a designated dumping zone. Wow, and I thought the floor scrubber in the academy was impressive. So see, look. It's highly technical. Yeah. Oh, when we finish our mission, where's a good place for shore leave? There aren't a lot of options open to us, Captain. The only place that's even halfway decent in this, uh, in this sector is the space bar. Well, maybe we'll have to check it out. Certainly hope we will, sir. Oh, who's excited All to right. the space bar? See, I'm over here being like, mm -hmm. there's a there's a list of planets in this quote unquote manual. And there's some fun there's some fun names on this list. Approaching I'm our, just curious, are yes. we actually going to all these, or were some of these like like just there to make you laugh? Uh, a lot of them are just there to make us make you laugh. Because I want to go to Commodore 64. <laughs> Checking a waste beacon, sir. Activate the RSS. Uh, we might have to standard orbit first. R R oh. S. No, no, he seems happy to do it. <laughs> Bana. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it in all of its Majestic. glory. Majestic! It's in a husky bag. Oh. Husky, <laughs> husky, husky. Uh, <laughs> no! 
Boom. <laughs> Got it. Bye bye. <laughs> Captain, I'm picking up a life form reading on the uh, in the waste compartment. What? <laughs> we should probably go check the. Oh, there's the oh. Clifford. Captain, you better get down here. There's some strange scratching and whining noise. It's coming out of the trash bin. Oh, it's a puppy. Go save it. Maybe save it before we save it. <laughs> <laughs> In case it's less of a puppy and more of a melt your face off sort of thing. Save it before you save it. You heard me. This is this is a space game where everything will kill you. Even the cute puppy has probably got, like, acid spit or something. Or it's a triple, and then we got a problem in a minute. <laughs> uh... Well, we saw the garbage compartment earlier. And looks like there might be something else in there. Oh, it's whining. <laughs> Definitely something in there, Captain. Could be dangerous. You go first. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Definitely uh, save. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna turn the speed up just a, just a bit. Yeah, only the commander is a red shirt on this crew. Look, depending on which Star Trek, the red shirts were 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 captains. Find the stores of Eureka's refuse containment compartment. Controls to open the door to the trash compartment. Open the door. Nothing bad will happen. Oh, God, something bad happened. Oh, it's a face hugger. We're dead. Well, good thing we saved it. What the? Are we already deadly? Uh, I think he's a cute little bugger. I think I'll keep him. What? I'll call him Spike. I... Okay. But are we already dead? No, he's our little buddy. Are you, you sure? Yeah. He looked like he face-hugged us. That's how he shows affection. Are you, where are you going, little fella? Can we, can we take the banana peel? Nah, I'm sure Cliffy won't mind cleaning it up. Yeah, but it's a banana peel. Do you know how useful that is in... All sorts of situations. Oh, it's the appearance and aroma of rotting garbage. My, what a lovely smell you've discovered. All right, well, let's try to go after Spike, maybe? Yeah, it's a Spike. Spike. Good old Spike. Good old Spike. Uh... We just kind of left Spike wandering around there, huh? Uh, for some reason, I thought he snuck his way in here but maybe not let's let's see if I can we can find where Spike went oh there he is he scuttles down this way Spike heal boy heal Spike where for art thou Spike Uh, maybe so I use can... a stick and play fetch. <laughs> yeah, you can poke him with a stick. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Do we just leave him there? Um. I feel like. Blah! Watch that first tap. It's a doozy. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, or <laughs> he meant to do that. <laughs> uh, I was going coffee now. Uh, hmm. I forget what to do with him. Uh, could have sworn I had something to do with going in here. Hug? There's no hug option yet. Are there any other things in here? Is... That looks like another door on the right. Uh... Uh, that's the chamber that holds the cryogenic cooler. 
Ah. Cliff uses it to keep his Corona light chilled to a frosty four degrees Kelvin when it's not otherwise occupied. I'm sorry, four degrees Kelvin? Yes. You're, I'm pretty sure your space booze is ice. Uh, let's see. That may be 40, still in the process of being built. Uh, oh, Fierce is available for aforementioned heckling. Uh, yeah, as soon as you pop in, I'll, I'll drag you to this spot right here. Oh, hello. Ahoy, hoy. Uh, -huh. uh, I'm trying to remember what I have to do with Spike here. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Uh, Nothing. We have no items. We can't. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Shut the door. Make sure there's no, you know, Evidence. cross draft. <laughs> um, maybe I just ignore it and it goes away. Ignoring sounds like a bad idea. It's a horrible idea. Let's do it. Uh. Mm. Will, he, will he pop out again like if I just come in from the screen from this side because I know last time he he showed up on there and yeah. scuttled away not anymore this time yeah now, now he's just gone and now uh, we, we, we couldn't talk to the NG officer he's not talking to us yeah uh, I don't know yeah he's probably fine Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll do a safety save. And then we'll just try to move on and see if the game lets us. I mean, he, he, he was arriving in space in a garbage bag. I'm sure he can fend for himself for a couple days. Uh, I mean, how long was that garbage bag floating through space? <laughs> Uh, oh. Hey, thanks for leaving this mess back here for me to clean up. A real, how real captain-like of you. Oh, then he said something else important and I clicked through it. He clicked through it. Uh, it's fine. Must not have been that important. I love how Cliffy's uh, based off of Ernest Borgnine from Airwolf. I literally just <laughs> saved, so I'm just like, I'm gonna restore. You just wanted to hear the chair squeak again. Yes, the chair. Wink. Uh, okay. Chair smells weird. Captain, you gotta do something. That crit of yours is making Swiss cheese out of my deck back here. I'm getting pretty tired of fixing the floor. Okay, so yeah, right. we, we, we have to take care of him. But maybe sitting in the chair did something. Made Cliffy mad. That's gotta count for something. Oh, see, look, everything's cleaned up. Perfect. Is he in the other room now? Uh, he... Oh, yeah, because he said he was making Swiss cheese out of stuff. Maybe maybe he migrated. No. No. No, he's still in this hallway somewhere. Oh, I forgot how to do this. Uh... Can we walk down closer to the, this edge of the screen? Because he... Lift to the pod bay. Can I... Let's go hell. Uh, no. Okay, I can't mm. seem to do anything by getting to the pod bay. Can we come down closer to this edge of the screen? Like, we uh, watched him crawl under that. I went as far down as I could down there. Mm. Uh, there's a service tunnel here. Oh. Yeah, this just shows a bunch of stuff and some fuses for I have a feeling point in my life. Gotta need that at some point, yep. But nothing here. Uh, I will try to walk down as far down as I can. Uh, I did that before and nothing nothing really That's... happened. Hmm. Just 
poke around. Uh, so yeah, uh, Spike is a very good hider. I guess so. Can we talk to Cliffy now? Nope. Nope. Uh, do you still have access to Cliffy's toolbox? Uh, probably. I I, I think uh, I took everything I needed from it. Was there something else I needed? What if he's just hiding in the toolbox? There's a anti-acid tablet thing you need from it. I have that. We have that. But what do I do with it? Looking now. Into the science lab and advance a few steps, apparently. I just have to walk. That 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 Looks was like it, yeah. that was that was that was my problem. I had to walk. Um, I'm walking all over the place here. Oh, there it is. Oh. Really? Wow! I found him. And then you put yeah. him in the container on the right side of the screen. Yeah, well, once I had him, I, I knew where to go from there. Mm -hmm. But, but, uh, James knew already. We looked at this. Can't be giving him too many hints. Oh, yeah, he's an inventory item now. Oh, yeah, can we look at him while he's here before we he's do so anything? He's so pretty. Your faithful but not completely outstrained companion spike. Uh huh. Just. Yeah. Where? Why would you keep him there? Because <laughs> that's the the, the bio tube. No, but where he pulled him pulled him out of the oh. jacket. Because that's the bio jacket. Pass. Poor little fella must have eaten something that didn't agree with him. Those antacids should reduce the acidity in his metabolism. You're a genius, sir. I would have given him a chili dog. I don't think that that's a thing. <laughs> what, chili dogs? Totally a thing. No, I just... Yeah, ch chili dogs are a thing. Confirm. Chili dogs are wonderful things. Also confirmed. Although I had a very bad experience with chili dogs the other day, and it made me very sad. I have the stuff to make chili dogs. I also have the stuff to make chili dogs. I'm not a big made, chili dog guy. Mainly because I'm made not chili a big dogs. chili guy. Well, I mean, you're allowed to be wrong. It's fine. <laughs> I made chili dogs the other day, and then as I was finishing my last chili dog, discovered that there was a giant hunk of plastic that had, like, lived in the can of chili that no. I had somehow missed. Delicious. And I'm like, oh. Suddenly glad that I always make my own chili. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. As well, I'm aware, I didn't get sick, but... <laughs> right. Oh, jeez. Well, we need the last place, James. Uh, what... Where, where do we go? P-U-9-2-7-6-7. Uh, seven, seven. Oh. Clear. Oh, was, oh. There, was there a clear button? Yeah, this is at the top. Oh. Perfect place for a clear button. Yeah, yeah. 9-2... 7 6 seven. Okay. How's it going, Gradius? All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, I don't want to command you. That's chili off? dogs does sound like a really good idea. Just want to talk. That's amazing. I think that uh, might be dinner tomorrow. What do you know about our destination? We're going to PU. It's kind of a stinker of a planet. Fair enough. Well, she belongs on the channel. Yes. Uh, how did you come to be posted to the Eureka? It's kind of a long story. Relax, there's plenty of time until our, our travel timer runs out. I was involved in a very unfortunate incident, sir. It was while I was serving on the SES Stupendous. It was a snake anyone could have made, really. I'm listening. We were patrolling the neutral zone when an unidentified ship suddenly popped up on our screen. Did we fire? So naturally, I opened fire with everything we had. Perfect. Naturally. 
She was blown to bits instantly. Unfortunately, it turned out to be one of our own robotic freighters. Imagine your embarrassment. Yeah. Anyhow, after I got can or after that, I got cannon transferred to the Eureka. What did you do, sir? You must have screwed up pretty bad to get stuck on a command like this, or else tick somebody off real good. I don't know. Well, come to think of it, probably the latter. <laughs> That's... We did get assigned here uh, by Captain Quirk. <laughs> yeah. But he's your biggest fan. I'm not entirely convinced of that. <laughs> so now we just gotta yeah, reach our destination. Regular speed. Regular speed. Hit the brakes. <laughs> the space brakes. Spakes. The brakes. <laughs> Oh, we got another waste beacon. Activate the RRS! Uh, who's ready for a recycled joke? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I like to imagine the planets just get a bag of trash launch it into space and just be like someone else will figure that out <laughs> I mean there was a time where Earth was considering that <laughs> Captain, that joke um, and shoot drama it wasn't that much of a joke <laughs> I'm accepting a rather unusual message on Sarkon Priority Frequency 2 I'm putting it on screen sweet oh uh, pretty hi maggot to dung heap come in dung heap I get to dung heap. Come in, dung heap. This is dung heap. What in the Pleiades are you doing on this frequency? We have a really hot load of goods that needs to be disposed of right away. Thought I told you never to call me here. Meet me at the usual place and we'll discuss it. Dung heap out. That looks like a pretty official place. No, it, it could be anything. <laughs> Sprint. <laughs> Sprint. Uh, sorry, Captain, but I wasn't able to pin down the source of the transmission. Well, then. Uh, All right. Uh, sir, what do you make of that transmission flow? I don't know, sir. The content was really strange, especially since the Starcon command frequency was used. Can you pin down the source? Afraid not, Captain. They're using a metamorphic coding algorithm and frequency hopping pretty rapidly. That's all I can do to stay with them during the transmission. How do you ever intercept... Never mind, I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, you're looking especially lovely today, Flo. That sounds like it's going to get you killed. You pig! What? Excuse me. You pig, sir. <laughs> Give me a rundown on our last orders, Flo. We finished our mission, Captain. Let's take some R&R &R at the space bar. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Do you have the coordinates for the space bar? I will in a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Captain, I've had about all I can stand. If we don't take a break soon, there's no telling what I might do. Oh, man. Oh. It's the perfect relaxation numbers. 69, 869. Nice. Twice. Coordinates locked in, sir. Ready to get underway. It also could have been 80085. <laughs> oh, that would have been better. For reasons. <laughs> uh, let's speed. It's my favorite uh, coordinates. Let's right. go party. Same, though. <laughs> J Joe, what are the odds it's not Captain Quirk? I mean... <laughs> Look, it could be anybody. What did that mission sound like to you, Drool? Sounds to me like somebody was trying to unload a bunch of hot stereos, Captain. Why would anyone in Starcon do something like that? I haven't the faintest idea, sir. They fell off the back of the truck. It's totally legal. Of That's course. Let's put uh, Flo. Why is she so bitter towards me? Don't take it personally, sir. Flo recently separated from her 18th husband and is understandably distraught. She's kind of down on men in general. Wow, an 18-time loser. <laughs> Want to make something of it, Flyboy? Have divorced better men than you. 
See what I mean? I mean, Dang. you know what? Fair. <laughs> just wondering. Odds are, odds are high that she's right. Just wondering. <laughs> what's it like not having a mouth? That's... Excuse me? I mean, how do you eat? How do you kiss? How do you vibrate those gill thingies or rub your bulbous eyeballs together or something? Not everybody keeps their uh, elementary orifices in the same place, Captain. God. A racist. <laughs> All right, hit the self struck button. <laughs> You're just like, well, I'm done with this. Look, Wilco's hand is so close to that button. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> and it's red and everything. This is why you can't be a captain. I would never actually. I mean, look, we've watched him play Nova, Nova Drift. We know how this works. See, uh, I could be fine in Nova Drift as a captain, but I have to be captain and pilot and gunner <laughs> and science. It's too much, man. All right. We're going in orbit of the space bar. <laughs> and everybody Whee! is out and ready to go. Let's party. Last one down to the station's a rotten ore at Ovum. Pass. <laughs> Knock it down there. Well. Let's get, get, get there before we're last. Well, they had a head start. Ah, but there's two other crew members. Three other crew members. Are we including Spike? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, then it's going to yeah. be Spike then. Because I'm going <laughs> to leave him stuck. here. <gasps> That's mean. That's mean. Well, there they go. All right. Well, at least we beat those two down. <laughs> Got them. The one, the one stuck in a tube, and one not fully back together yet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Spike doesn't like to drink much anyway. Uh, look, this bar was brought to you by Sprint. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain. I got an old buddy of mine over there by the bar. Uh-oh, here we go again. Uh, I also see a familiar face up above us. No, you don't see nothing up there. Yeah? Avert thine eyes. <laughs> Are you sure? That, that could be anybody. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I'll, also, if I ever went to a bar that just had a giant lava lamp in the center... It'd be the best thing ever? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. Also, just pay no attention to the weird-looking Ferengi up top. It's cool. Captain Quirk is sharing a drink with a familiar-looking alien. I, I like how they're just... This alien looks vaguely familiar. Just no subtlety. Hey, that's Captain Quirk and that other guy we saw. You don't know if that's the other guy that we saw. It could that's be anybody. That's true. It, it, it's also the, their race just could look like that. It could be totally, totally different member of the same race. They don't all look the same. Uh. Hello, I am your cocktail waitress analog. Bzz. What's your poison, humanoids? I'll have a double bourbon on the rocks. I'll have a fuzzy nostril. Give me a green goblin. Here are your bzz, drinks. The charges will be deducted from your Starcon account. If you feel the urge to hurl, please feel free to use the restrooms, humans. Only one of us is a human, thank you very much. You don't know that for sure. Reasonably confident. <laughs> it's possible Drill's just going through a phase. We've all been there. Sometimes twice. Oh, look at this guy sauntering on up. Oh man, blast him. <laughs> <laughs> is that an old Marty big fly? <laughs> He's just... <laughs> Turn violent. Hello there, suck. I mean, partner. May I have a moment? Man, you're not good at this cell. <laughs> well, actually, I'm kind of... Allow me to introduce myself. The name is Nilo Jones, Merchant of Venus. Dealer in fine collectibles, trafficker in rare artifacts. No. What? Dad, it's Henry Mud! <laughs> What's your moniker, son? I'm, uh, Roger Wilco. You, they're not even being subtle. <laughs> well, Wilco, <laughs> this is your lucky day. Are you going to try and sell me a triple? I can tell the first minute I set eyes on you that you're a discerning individual with an IQ significantly higher than the chair he was sitting in. He's going to sell me a triple. 
He's going to sell me a triple. Oh, the man who knows the value of fine merchandise when he sees it. Well, uh... Never fear, Wilco. Nilo can fix you right up. See some Antitarian Firewater? A few gray market copies of the latest uh, Things Quest game? Or a lucky treble's foot? <laughs> uh, how about some Chernobyl Cufflinks? They're a real collector's item, you know. Guaranteed to give you that warm glow like only hard radiation can. <laughs> Do, <Dang>. please. <laughs> I don't think... I can see you're looking for something special, Roger. Can I call you Roger? Well, I've got just the thing. Dehydrated space monkeys. They're all oh, the man. they're all the rage in colony worlds. You don't have to feed them, and there's no mess for you. Fifteen buckazoids. I'm not sure. You drive a hard bargain, Rog. Tell you what, take a free sample of space monkeys in my business card with my compliments. Then you buy something for your lady friend the next time you pass through here. Uh, thanks. Realizing he's not going to make a big score here, the sales beast moves to find another victim. <laughs> mm. We actually have... Oh, oh, our friends are going away. Oh, the sales beast is sauntering away. Oh, no, no, here he comes. What is that walk? I, the, the, the walk cycles. That's the game. walk of somebody who's very important. And clearly needs to poop. Well, well, well. Look who it isn't. Buzz off, laser brain. Enjoying your new command, trash man? I recommended you for the job. What? That sanitation engineer to you, crumb. Ooh, an aristocrat. I bet Ambassador Wankmeister would be really impressed. She and I are having a great time working together, closely, on the Goliath. Quirk, you have the looks of an O-Rat and the manners to match. Why, you little. I could have you brought up on charges for that. I demand satisfaction. I challenge you to a game of battle cruiser, wimp. Fine, I'm gonna kick your aft side to the next quadrant, Quirk. We'll see about that, broom jockey. Broom jockey? I'll have you know I use a mop, thank you very much. <laughs> a space Roomba. A spoomba. All right, James, this is where you're going to come into your element. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sitting up straight for this. Battle cruiser. Oh, man. What do, what do we do? Directions. <laughs> Battle cruiser objective: to seek out and destroy all four of your enemies' cloaked ships before yours are destroyed. Please tell me this is literally just. <laughs> this is literally battleship. just battleship. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I will. Oh, geez. I will save you all of these extra words for them just to be like, this is battleship. Uh, I will say that you have three different boards to choose from. Okay. So where do you want to put this, the, the biggest plus size oh. ship? You put and then just three identical boards. It's just yeah, and you can choose which sector to put them in. Basically, it's battleship. It's battleship, but with a third dimension, essentially. Yes. All right. Let's put. Yeah, you know what? Right there is perfectly fine for this guy. In sector one. Yeah. Done. Okay. Uh, next ship. We have five ships. Uh, four or five. I forget. Uh, let's go to sector two. Shoop. We'll put his guy on the left side. All the way? Uh, no, right, somewhere in this two. Let's go down one from there. Right there? Yeah, right, right there. All right. Next, now we got uh, this guy. Can we rotate that one so it's facing the other, facing da upside down? Uh, boop, like that? Yeah, and then let's put the corner of that in uh, B9. Uh, which corner? The, uh, the, that one? That one. Okay. Perfect. All right. And then let's go to sector three. Oh, that's a honk chunker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a chonky ship. Yeah, I think it is four, Scott. So this might be the last one. Uh, uh, all the way in the top right corner. In this orientation? Yep. So, like, right there? All the way up. Yeah, right like that. Is there, is there another uh, ship? And then, oh, yeah. that's it. All right. All right. Uh, hit done. I think it's, it's going to be good enough. All right. Well, oh, we should have saved it beforehand. No, we, get, we, oh, we can't right do that. I don't know if it matters at all where we actually put those. Uh, the, we'll call this... 40 Battleship. Song, you suck. <laughs> you suck my battleship. <laughs> well, nope. 
<laughs> yep. You suck my battle cruiser. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right. Letting. All right. There we go. What button? Done. All right. He's taking his first shot. Oh no! Or am I taking my first oh. shot? Okay. Look. No. Uh, okay. Now I see we have weapon and probe. Yeah. You skip through all the things. Where are probes? Probe. I think you, you shoot it down, and it kind of gives you an area of things could be around. Oh, that's probably very helpful. So you could but just start firing, or you could set up a probe. You only got a couple uh, of probes, so. Yeah, but uh, early probes might not be a bad idea to try to help narrow something. Well, you, you tell okay, me. Okay, let's go for one probe. Okay. And let's let's start right here on sector one, and let's go for oh G four. Uh, G four is not around anymore, James. Yeah, I know. That's why we're gonna shoot it. Nothing. Damn. All right, he just fired and missed. Okay. All right. Time what's, for your, popsicle. what's your next move? I. Um, I guess. Oh, do, do we do we hit done? Is this still like his turn? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, done. Okay. Now we go. So you got one more probe. You know that uh, there's nothing, kind of in this. Big in the area. Vicinity. Dodge, jump to sector three. Fired in that same spot. G four. The probe. Yeah. Well, we're getting some big narrow downs first if we can. Nothing there either. Nothing there either. Is this man cheating? Oh, he missed. Okay. All right. Well, you're done. You're done with probes. Now you're just firing guns. They're just firing wildly. All right. Uh, B nine of sector three. Uh, sure. Hit. Look at look at us. Good, good shot. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Now, now, where do you want to expand that? Now he's not that dumb, is he? Let's go C nine. Another hit. What do, what do you think you got a hold of? Oh, that was a near miss. It was a near miss. Uh, let's try A9. I have a hunch. Miss. Nope. Okay. Okay. He's, 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 he's going real scatter. He's just yep. going everywhere. I'm taking down whatever this ship is here. Uh, D9. I thought the same thing, Magister. That's why I, I was like, wait a minute. That's where I put a ship. Oh, that didn't sink it. It did not. Uh, can I zip through while we're here? Look at the ships. So yeah. I remember. You got the plus it's one. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a this cross. guy. It could be. It could be the T-boy. It, it could, could be the T-boy. It could be the cross boy. And it, it could be that one. could be this guy. So you, you just narrowed down that it's not just the three-piece. Right, which is fine. Uh, boy, I feel like we could be here a while. Uh, let's try C8. Oh, hi, buddy. Have a good one, bud. Going for the plus good boy. Oh. That's what I'm saying. There are, there are three possible ships that that could be. If it's... With that shot, there's only one, one left it can be. Uh, there's actually technically still two. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he he could, right. So he could yeah, be rotating. Chunk, boy, so but, so but. he could he could be C10 or he could be C7. Yep. So I'm gonna I'm trying? gonna aim at the C7 first. Okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling. No. Oh, ah, see, I was the C10. I, yeah. I I I felt it in my bones. Oh, ooh, he got a hit on your big boy. Oh no. That's fine. The, I, I'd be more scared if he hit the small. Oh, I misclicked. That you was misclicked. That was entirely my fault. If I miss this by one, Lee. Oh, uh, that's fine. He missed too. Oh, uh, I, I I apologize. That was entirely my fault. That's uh, fine. I've ruined everything. It's got uh, this like snapping action. Yeah. So one chip down. Yeah. 
My star base! Arg! Yeah. What of it, sir? Oof. So it's okay. His next shot's gonna gonna whiff. Because uh, he's dumb. Oh, I got a probe back. You do have a probe back. Uh, Where do you want a probe? Prison? I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm play. I'm playing to a strength. Sector two, G four. <laughs> I'm, I'm shooting all three of these probes at G4, just in all the dimensions. I'll wipe out that corner and... Oh! There's a bunch there. Hi, friend! And that's his big boy. That's a big boy. Which, again, technically speaking, I would have rather found the little one, but... Alright, well, let's start just pinging away at it. That, that, was, a, that was a spicy probe. So we're going to take out each of our big boys here, but we were ahead one ship. Make sure I don't misclick anymore. Uh, with that, I think he must know what it is. I mean, he's a computer, so he probably already knows what it is. But... Right. Oh, no. I mean, he is kind of a moron. That's true. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Look at him. That's that's the face of a genius. Mm -hmm. He's really letting you buy some time. Can I have you hold on one second before you fire that? Sure. That doesn't look right. Yeah, I think that's two ships. I think it's going to go Oh, no, here okay. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're there, and then they're there, there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, he's not that dumb, is he? Our big boy ship is in trouble. So you got you got to admire the uh, craftsmanship of these ships. You have to blow them up in every possible inch of them before they go Absolutely. down. Absolutely. All right, so then I guess that's yet yeah, I five. Uh, oh come on! You, you misclicked again. The game's grid system is conspiring against me. Now is it the game's? You know what? I'm going to say that he's got a hack on your computer for just little little shifts. Lee, you lunatic! It wasn't me. I mean, it was me, but it's not my fault. How, how did he miss that? <laughs> he's he's really dumb. All right, so then I three, and then I two, and that yeah. should give us a probe back. Yes. Leonardo is taking control. No. Leonardo. Okay. Big explosion. Yeah. Blast you, you nailed my large battle cruiser, you weed. I'm better a womp weed womp. than a dweed. Seed? Uh, a dweed. <laughs> there you go. Lee, you're becoming right. too much like Roger. Oh. I'm I'm a hero. I'll take it. Well you have right, a probe. St we're st yeah, we're staying right here in sector two. Let's shoot at uh at D seven for the probe. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, one more turn in our ship. Finally down. gonna get me down there. All right, now we're just shooting. All right, so let's go. Let's go back to sector one because we haven't found anything here. Now let's go C three. Nah. Yep. There goes that ship. Yep. You nailed my command ship. All right. Where to now? 
Uh, the question is, do I blind fire or do I go strategy? This is Roger Wilco. We blind fire. Uh, G7. Well, you, you've probed all of these G areas. Uh, I, well, I suppose theoretically the, the yeah. we did the bottom left corner. So yeah, why don't we do... Why don't we do skips here? Uh, we'll go C9. Miss. Fired the mist. But so did he. Yeah. There's gotta be something here in sector one. I can feel it in my bones. Uh E5. You probed all of his G areas, Lee Wilson 2023. I, I did indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Uh, let's go F8. Uh, do you think it's going to be fate? No. No. <laughs> Not in this sector, anyway. Fate's a myth. It's fine. He's just as bad of a shot as you are. Uh, hmm. I see, the problem is I don't know like how big of an area the probe actually scans. It's hard to tell for sure. Uh, let's. It looks do... like it was about it was about a three three radius from point of impact. Yeah. So let's do uh, I nine. Meese. Oh, you can fire in sector three all you want, sir. Look, there's no way he has no ships here in Sector 1, right? He's he's a, oh. he's a tool. I he's mean, got a hiding in him. B6. I was going to say, he's, he's still got places where he could be hiding. Oh, he's got plenty of spaces. Oh. Miss there. Yep. And we're, st we're sticking in Sector 1 until I find this bastard. <laughs> uh... Five by five area it looked like considering the shape of sector two. Uh, let's do let's do H ten. Me. Well. Yep, that's fine. Yep, yeah, let's go E ten. E10 is technically an incorrect shot from James, but that's fine. Whatever. All right, he's still firing in Sector 3. <laughs> A boom Splish! <laughs> uh, let's go... Uh, you know what? A1! Let's just go put right up in the corner. Nope. <laughs> well, I, I like the gumption. Oh. Oh. Nobody on that ship breathe! <laughs> <laughs> This vision is based on movement. <laughs> uh, C7. Oh. That's fine, too. I... <laughs> this grid system! Oh, we checked that whole corner. That's nice. May B8. I... Yeah, I was going to say A or B8. I, I yeah. don't know. A8? Nah, if it's if it's if he's got the the, the smaller one shining in there, I'm gonna have to start getting these A's. Yeah. Oh, he's 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 real close. Yeah, I bet you I am too. <laughs> All right, let's uh, check. I'm starting a... to think he might not have, not have anything in sector one. He might not. Let's try A five. But if it's gonna feel bad leaving sector one now. Let's check. Uh, huh. Huh. Let's check C5. C5. Nope. Oh, jeez. Nah, he's got he's, nothing. He's outlining he's us. He's got nothing. He knows. He's just toying with us now. Uh, B4. 
Are you just checkerboarding it now? Eh, just a little. Not a, not, not a ton, but... Oh, oh we, lo we love to see shots yeah. here. Yeah, you can say shoot here all you want. Let's take one shot at... God, I'm just gonna feel bad, but I gotta try, uh, like... A8? You don't want to even checkerboard it to, like, 9? Or 7? Preferably well, nine. The, Preferably uh, we hit both, right? Oh, uh, well, I, I know what you're... I know why you see you're what doing I'm saying. it. You but, see what I'm yeah. saying. Because now the only ones that can fit there are the twos. <laughs> Alright, let's let's come back to... Let's, let's, let's shake things up. Let's go to Sector 2 for a minute. I'm trying to remember. We we fired the the probe here. We fired at, at you fired a G4. Right? Yeah. I found an extra probe at, at, at one of the D's. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was I think it was sector two D seven. So let's go yeah. to sector. Th let's go actually go to sector three. And let's take a shot at B two. Yeah, keep shooting over there, Tex. All right, next shot. Uh, let's go all the way down to I-9. Man. <laughs> He's really got these hidden from you. Ooh. He's seen his, his own cross hatching. Uh, G-7? I think that's technically within the the radius yeah. of the probe. Uh, all right, let's go back up this way and do uh, I'll do D four. Um, uh, you think that might be in I, I, radius? I, I think there's a chance that it was, but. But he's just firing away in Sector 3, so... Yeah. Alright, screw it. Let's go to the C... Let's C3. Let's just make that diagonal up there. Man! Oh, boy. Oh, no! Oh, oh boy. Here he, we go. He's finally hit pay dirt. <laughs> well, now what? Now we panic. B4. We're going to A5 next. Not that way. Okay. God. Oh, boy. That's fine. He'll miss, he'll miss one more time. I just... I'm on fire everywhere. Why did Bunny have to leave and take her nukes with her? <laughs> I know, right? Um, he's, mm, let's go to let's go to fate again. Uh, the fate of the furious. Oh, we're, is the smallest a three? The smallest is a three. Mm -hmm. Oh, what am I doing cross hatching then? I fell into I fell into old habits. Dog, bring me back to sector one. <laughs> That's why I thought you went with the A8, because that way you, there could yeah, be no I, three here. So I was like, okay, I see it. Yeah, but I, I turned... I, well, I didn't do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, then that means we've got to check B2. Did I dance all around that and just whiff it entirely? But up, up, but up, up. All right, that's fine. Probe scan is a five by five box centered on your click, I assume. Yeah, so so it scans up here, over there, over there. So you have this whole area is a no go. <sighs> which which actually means that the G four is a terrible click because that means the entire wall is still left. All right, uh, but this man put that ship in B three. No, he did didn't. not. Womp womp. 
Well, there goes that ship. Yeah, that's right. I'm still technically a leg up. You are technically in the lead. You Not wasted my scout ship. All right, so now we come down to speed two. All right. And then we'll have to come down to, to D2 next. Why is he still shooting? The, it, there could be a ship there. <laughs> it could be, but all right. Uh, D2 or A2? Uh, let's do D2. It, Not it, a sink. No, so this is the T-Boy. Yep. All right, so then is that is that long or is that... Wow, uh, it's got to be long. Yeah, it's got to so be. So it's got to be D1, uh, D, D1 and D3. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a miss. All right, so we're going to be... He's just going to have his, his tiny ship left. Yep. But I've got a... I've got a good handle on things now. Uh, you destroyed my destroyer, punk! All that's left is just a straight three bar. <laughs> oh, oh, God. He's, he's, I mean, he's outlining He's cross hatching, it. though. He's going to find it. He will eventually find it. He might hit the middle immediately. All right. Uh, let me do... Look at the other two sectors real quick. Sector two is the one that you double probed, I think. Correct. And then sector three... Yeah, go back to sector two. And we're going to probe C3. Okay, so you want to be very sure that there's nothing here. I want I want that entire top left corner completely, completely cleared. All right. Ain't nothing here. Again, there could be. It could be in the bottom right, or it could be yeah. along the walls. In which case, you're in trouble. But... Correct. Well, let's go back to Sector 1. I think this man's a... I think this man's a... A sector one kind of guy. Uh, let's check. Yeah, you could hit C seven. You can hit the. Yeah, I know. C like seven. C seven is a good spot to check because it does clear out good two spot things. To check. Yeah, D nine. I just C I've, one of these. I've got. I've got a weird feeling. And we're gonna. I'm gonna. I want to check J three. Got a weird feeling about J3, which is just underneath where the scan was. Just is. underneath where my scan was. Okay. Okay. Lucky, you, you gotta check. Yeah. Well, and that, and that does show there's nothing between uh, J2 and J5. Yeah, correct. Because yeah. I'm, And I'm thinking the same thing with H1. Like, I... Uh, oh, yeah. For Sorry, the yeah. same reason that that whole wall is also potentially... Okay. Okay. Now we'll go. Now we'll go to C seven. I know it, it's a good, a good spot to check. I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling C seven, but this was a good one to check. Yeah, come on. Can you keep. You keep going around that. Yeah, I, I still. I, I think I want to wall dance on this. Let's jump over to the J six. Okay. And then we'll actually do J8 for the next one. He, he's, he's really convinced you got something else in Sector 3. I'm convinced he's got something else in Sector 1. Uh, we see. don't... Yeah, we can do J8 and that should be okay. I guess I didn't actually have to check the wall there, technically. Oh, boy. Oh, that's that's, a, that's no. a big hit. That's concerning. That's all right. Okay, so we checked... We checked there, so this box is clear to here. So we can check... If we check H7... Let's see. Yeah, that would be outside Yeah, that's of the... the wall. H7 clears all the way down and to the right there. That's okay. We know what's coming. I would, uh, I would recommend a save, like, right here. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh. Winning this is not oh, necessary. Okay. Uh, let's try G9. Okay. Oh, he's, he's not 
going to be in. He's not going to be in sector one. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> I got to be thorough at this point. Uh, Shen, uh, thank you for the 18 months. I'm making sure I'm watching my wall here. This is the. It's that whole corner. So E E seven actually clears. Yeah, a couple of different directions. Chunks. Yeah. He's technically got a couple of stu terrible spots that he could be hiding, and I don't <laughs> like any of it. Um, we have to check. Uh, oh God, yeah, the, this we, section, we... this section over here. Yeah. Um. And honestly, I think that's it for this sector. Oh, and technically, D five. Like it, it could be in that little. I mean, it could also the, be A. It could also oh, be yeah, it could also be there. Yeah. Yeah, and EFG1. I just, I don't think it's in Sector 1. I don't think it's in Sector 1. Uh, let's go check the other sectors real quick. I would hate to leave and be wrong, you know? The, the, here's the problem, right? There's so much space here. Uh huh. That you have not looked at. But we probed. You probed this old the, top the, corner. The perfect top corner. You probed. And we probed. The, one off the uh, wall here. And then, you, the and we there, probed and then up, right. up there. But we, we yeah. missed the walls mm -hmm. all the way around this. But we could check something like. And then there's still this corner. Yeah, that there's we that could corner, check like and then there's H, the, H8. There's the example. wall from A5 to 10. A wall oh, from yeah. 10A to 10J. Yeah, there's All a lot of, of spots, unfortunately. I'm concerned because he's already got. He's 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 in a good position here. Um. Yeah, I did three probes on this. Yeah. Um. So again, it could be any of the any of the walls on the bottom left and top right. Uh, and then this bottom right hand corner. Um, so I, I guess I9. Yep. Yeah. Knew that was coming. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. I don't think he'd be dumb enough to put the ships adjacent to each other, would he? He could, I don't know. It's such a bad strategy. He's a strategic commander. Is he? Is he really? I don't know. He likes to pretend, anyway. J and H10 and just be like this whole corner is locked down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's then again there's also the walls. Yeah, like a C10 is a good one. Um, let's do yeah, let's do an H10. And then come back for a J8, I guess. If he's smart, he knows what that is, but yeah. we'll see. All right. Giant div. So what's the next one? Uh, I think J8, just so yeah. we can clear the corner entirely. All right. Not in the corner. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, there goes that ship. Uh, <laughs> and yes, Shen, I did eat. <laughs> Crushed my cruiser. I have concerns. That guy's face is so punchable. It is, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Um, I think we have to check I-7 just to be fully... Okay. So, again, unless it's hiding in that bottom left corner adjacent to it. Yeah, he's still searching chapter 3. Yeah, and then let's check the C-10. Yeah, we'll do C10, and then we'll do uh, A8 for the same reason. Okay. Oh, boy. 
It's fine. But I don't like it when he's shooting over there. Oh, I know. Eight. Okay. Okay. At least he's now got a 66% chance to waste a shot completely. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we did a scan there, so that's... Um, let's see... If yeah. if it's here, it would be, it has to be one of these wall bottom areas. Left, bottom left corner, uh, which unfortunately there is still to... a wall spot on in the in the the ten column though. That you're oh yeah, we could also oh, fight. Yeah, like, yeah, the e, the e, yeah, either D e or S. Yeah, uh, hold on. Yeah, we'll, we'll clear it out. I really feel like he's hiding in sector one. So we can go back to sector one. It's getting, less and, it's getting less and less yeah. likely it's in Sector 2. I Yeah, 1 and 2 in both cases, it's getting less and less likely. But there's a couple um, of spots here that are on... We did there, so this block is cleared out. Uh, let's do E1, actually, just to... Because then we can do E4 and clear most of that corner. Okay. So E4, then? Yep, E4 clears two more options. Oh, actually, it couldn't have been in... That's fine. It's still cleared an, an option, anyway. D8's got a double. A double option to clear yet. Yeah, D... Uh, sorry, D9. Um, uh, D8 and D9. Yeah, D8 and D9 both cleared both doubles. Fair. Uh... Do do B ten first. I know it's only one option, but I like. <laughs> Stop shooting sector one. No, no, no worries. Nothing there. <clears throat> no worries. I'm not there. All right. Now let's get that. Uh, let's get the D eight. There's only three more spots that could be on here. And you got the, so the A's, you got the, the the section over here, and you got the this section. Right right. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Let's do the D6. Okay. Yeah. Just firing indiscriminately in space. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> Alright, let's check that A line, because it's bothering me that it could be in like Okay. All right. So one last place to check. If it's not here, it's not in this sector. Yep. And I'm just in sector just... three. All There's right, not much so left in two to check either. Yeah, that's that's our last spot. Is right there. All right. And then we'll double check to make sure that we're correct that yeah. there's nothing else here. <laughs> uh, I forgot how long this section goes. If yeah, yeah. This can, this can go. We, because uh, it's there, that means this whole block is cleared out. Um, technically, right uh, here. H eight is yeah, it's a possibility, but then yeah. I think that might be the last one on this board. Yeah, let's yeah. try the H eight just to make sure. Okay, wouldn't that have been something? Uh, uh, yeah, let's go back to sector two for a minute, just because I want to see what's left. We, we cleared so much of this. So uh, that... It could be along this wall here. Yeah, yeah. The wall so here. like H1 and J3 would, I think, completely clear the rest of this board. Yeah. Let's do the... Uh, well, we'd have to do like a J3 and yeah. a J6, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I suppose. On uh, tech. Technically, because uh, what did we what did we do? We did D seven. Um, see, we know this whole chunk is good. Uh, technically speaking, we also could we have to clear something like G G eight. Yeah. There's technically a, a possibility that it's hiding right there. Yeah, so let's, that's let's true. go with the G8 as well. 
Mm. Off the wall. Yeah, let's do the the H was H one I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay away from that sector. I mean, uh, thankfully, thankfully, Scott. Oh, can it be G six? Hold on. Uh. No, because you... No, because you, you probed at G4. You, you probed at G4. It could I definitely... probed at G4, yeah. correct. Correct. Okay, so then, yeah, we need... We need J3, like, J3 and J6. Let's go with J6. Oh. That's fine. We need them both anyway. Alright, that's fine. So then the J6... Okay, so it's not in Sector 2. Of course. Uh, sector 1, wouldn't the probe not reach the 6 line in Sector 1? Oh, let's go check it, just to make sure. In Sector 1, the probe we did was at G4. And it does yeah, a 5x5. Five five. Yeah, so which it, clears yeah. 2, yeah, two yep. 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all clear out. Yes. Yeah, board, board one is completely cleared. At this point, board two is completely cleared? I believe so. Yeah, because we scanned here, we scanned yeah. here. Yeah, we so we're on, we're, I here. think we're on sector three. Okay. And again, we and then did you scanned G at G4 we did G4 here. here. So. Which still leaves lots of options. Yeah, you, right. you still got plenty of room. Uh, so let's go with H8. Oh, he, he's hating. Pull that up with G10, and that clears out a good chunk of the board, I think. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Yep. Okay. <laughs> J10 feels weird, but it actually clears out a couple of options. Stop firing on this sector! Ah, he's got nothing. He doesn't know where it is. Uh, I don't, again, I don't think he's, I don't think he's that dumb. So we're gonna... Uh, like a J7 maybe? Yeah, J7's, J7's a good one. Yep. So let's do Death Go Flat. Oh, we're gonna, we'll, we'll find out Dead Tech if we check the other ones. All right, let's do, um, let's do C5. hate that I messed the top left corner up oh, earlier. He's getting closer. <laughs> Alright, let's do the time warp again. Yeah, so you got a, you got a couple of a couple of options here. Yeah, there's this whole left wall and that bottom. We got the left chunk. wall. Got this bottom chunk. We got a. Let's go. Let's go. J one. What about doing B six next? Cool. I have a weird feeling. Yeah, B six is. I feel like he's he's getting closer too. You want, you oh, want yeah. the B six? B six action. Well, I draw. He could be right there nearby. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that he went farther out. For sanity's sake. Uh, let's check. You can finish yeah, off the J line. Let's check D1 first. D1. Because that does that still does yeah. more options. Oh god, he's 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 focusing on this sector now. That's okay. Even if he finds it, there's still plenty of time, because he's gotta hit five pieces. 
Um, now let's go ahead and finish off the J line. Let's do J4. Right in the middle. <laughs> yeah, and then let's do the, the G the G1 to clear off that whole wall. Yeah, it's fine. He he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Uh let's do Quirky doesn't know. Let's let's do A1, because that clears off two spots. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Shoot over there. Uh, you got some E spots. You got the A one through three, or the two through four, technically. The A six through six eight. Six through eight as well. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do A four just because I don't want it to look like a checkerboard. <laughs> you animal. I know. <laughs> We're doing uh, the same thing. Uh, we're doing a a eight. God, I'm running very. I'm very much yeah. running out of possibilities. Yeah, he, he's he's really hit this last ship well. So let me again. Let me just double check my. Okay, uh, let's do D seven. Clears out two options. And if that's a miss, I've got, I've got to go friggin' E9. Oh, hold your breath, everybody! God, E9, right? It's got to it's gotta be an E9 or we fucked up. Well, it doesn't have to be. No, oh, it's E9! Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was right next to his other ship! Well, now the question is, which direction did he angle it? Look, it doesn't because matter. That's, we that's, we still win. Yeah. So I'm going to say that he's in E8. Nope, Son straight down. Nope, nope straight that means down. we found it. Nope, they're, they're, they're space docking. Yeah, they, yes, they are. Uh, but uh, we finally because, beat because this I hole. Continue, because I continue to be a monster, G9. Absolute savage. <laughs> and then you can get, then you can do it. <laughs> yes! Oh, uh, if Quirk gets to see the final thing at the end, he's going to be so mad. That was something. Oh, that took forever. It, I won! I won! <laughs> you got points, and that's the only thing you get for winning. And I got an extra probe. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's like you, you get like 25 points per yeah. per ship you still have alive yeah. at the end or something like that. <laughs> oh, dang. Why, you dirty no good. <laughs> he called uh. the ship a garbage scout. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here, Cliffy? Captain, that's like bait crewman for the Goliath called our ship a garbage scout. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't sit there and let him get away with it. <sighs> Cliffy, the Eureka is a garbage scout. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We didn't have to go rubbing our noses in it. I've heard enough. Guards, place this man under arrest and toss him in the brig. Absolutely not. Wait a minute, Quirk. You can't just... I can and did. Now you just stow it, Wilco. You'll end up alongside him in a detention cell. Well, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back to my ship. I wanna keep the ambassador waiting. <laughs> just get a couple of extra swings in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell Cliffy to cool it! Uh... Well, as you'll notice, the first couple of times, it's disastrous results. <laughs> well, Cliffy is uh, a bit detained. Well, let's go back to our... Oh, you ain't gonna... oh, no, 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 gonna... I've already clicked yeah, off. It just... That, that's okay. it just went at that point. Stop! Scram, Pee Wee. Okay, he's not gonna let us do anything yet, anyway. Okay. I was gonna say let's go talk to our crew to see what they think. Uh, save the victory. We we could do a quick save here. I mean, that's very true. I'm not redoing. <laughs> that was like a half hour of shooting randomly. It it, it did take a lot longer than I anticipated. Semi randomly.
Okay. Just... Uh, how's it going, friends? Uh, why did you say, uh-oh, here we go again. We came to the bar. Cliffy had a slight misunderstanding with a crew member from the Intrepid the last time we came in here. What do you mean by slight misunderstanding? Apparently Cliffy made some colorful speculations about this crew member's parentage. Then he proceeded to make some unflattering anatomical references. I get the idea. Males, you can't live with them, and sometimes you can't even house train them. True! Why, this reminds me of my 14th husband, Vlad. Now he was always brawling. Captain doesn't have time to listen to one of your fascinating personal narratives right now, Flo. He has to figure out how to get Cliffy out of the slammer. Right, sir? Right. Uh, yeah. See, I told you the captain wasn't a complete closet case, Flo. I'm with you, sir. Let's go blast them out. That's a fine idea, Drool, but it would draw too much attention. There's got to be a better way. So what do, you, what, do you, what do you think we do? I mean, we have our... Do you want to try anything? Yes? No? Maybe? I... Just screw it! It's a dumb game, right? <laughs> it is a little the, bit. There have been so many Trouble with Dribbles references. Can we take a look at those Space Monkeys? Package of dehydrated space monkeys given to you by the sales beast at the space bar. A small label at the bottom reads, Warning, do not allow contents of packages to mix with alcohol. Perfect. Let's mix it with alcohol. <laughs> Face of slight concern. Huh. Well, we've done a thing. <laughs> oh, they are everywhere. <laughs> Who's the moron who let the dang space monkeys loose? Me, I'm the moron. <laughs> well. I don't know how that helps us. <laughs> uh, maybe I mean, it distracted maybe, the guards? Yeah, so maybe that was the distraction you needed. Uh, look at these space monkeys just living their best life. Yeah. So I'm outside the airlock on, or on the EVA, and I hear the phone ring. I gotta climb in, cycle the airlock, decontaminate, climb out of the pressure suit, run to the phone. I hate that. Turns out it's one of these new phone companies wanting me to switch to galactic long-distance carriers. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended <laughs> warranty. Talk about all these big savings, I can just switch from Sprint to TT and A's Friends with Aliens plan. Can you believe it? But you tell them? I said, no way, just isn't worth it, because I'm on Sprint. Can you tell that they were sponsored by Sprint for this game? Yes. <laughs> Alert. Come on, let's go see what it is. People get to beat somebody up. Sweet. Can we go mess with the, the, the panel? A variety of controls, including those for the force field, are operated from the console. We should probably turn that off. All right. All right. Uh... Let's go find our friend. Go look over here. Found him. All right. How do we get you out? Push buttons? Boy, am I glad to see you, Captain. Got yourself a fine predicament this time, Cliffy. I'm sorry, Captain, but it wasn't my fault. I know, Cliffy, I know. You're not going to just leave me here and rot in this tiny cell for the rest of my life, are you? Of course not, Cliffy. You guys isn't going anywhere without our chief engineer. Heck, nobody else can even figure out half the jury rig contraptions you've installed. It's nice to feel needed, sir. Now we just gotta get you out of here. Any ideas? Not a one, sir. Maybe we can find something that'll get through these bars. Be careful. It's mighty cramped quarters in here, and I'd like to make it out in one piece. Oh, through the bars? Gotta get through the bars. What are you thinking? A hole punch. We'll take the time. And just slowly punch holes in the bars. Oh, we got we got a uh, we got the the cutters. Uh, uh, that thing, right? You'll fry your chief engineer. No. Uh, can you not think of anything else that would melt through stuff? 
melt through stuff? Well, uh, technically, you could go all the way back to the ship and see if we could get Spike. <laughs> but <laughs> if we were going to do that, we probably should have done that before setting off the distraction. Eh, look, they're, it'll be fine. They're, they're plenty distracting. Maybe he still got some acid after we gave him his antacids. <laughs> All this seems to have gotten worse. Who are those two? <laughs> eh, they were leaving. Space monkeys are reproducing at an alarming rate. You can be in big trouble if you don't get out of here soon, Roger. The station isn't going to be able to take the added pressure of so many space monkeys for much longer. Oh, uh, okay. See, this is what I'm concerned about. Uh, this is fine. I may have done things out of order. Come on, little buddy. Time for you to be a proper member of the crew. Earn your keep. <laughs> Blip. All right. All right. Back we go. Energize. Oh, all the space all right. monkeys are right where I left them. Run! Uh, look, Roger is in no hurry. It never is. Let's see. Gotta go look at the bars over here. Just saunter our way down the hall. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Blit. 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 Perfect. <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, I guess that little beastie's good for something after all, sir. Nice. <laughs> See, look, now I'm running. Is that a run? It's a light jog at best. Oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Cliffy will get here. Will he? Oh, did you see my dramatic jump? That was a dramatic jump, yes. Don't worry. Hold on a second. Come on, Clifford. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. <laughs> Alright, let's remember to put our friend back, just in case. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Too many monkeys. Uh. <laughs> All right, then. Blech. Oh. <laughs> Blech. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of them. <laughs> uh, at least one more. Receiving a coded transmission from Starcon, sir. You're ordered to proceed to Clorox 2 for an auxiliary garbage retrieval mission, sir. Okay. Uh, do we have to go put our, our buddy back in his tank or so that he doesn't acid through our clothes? Uh, let's see if we can get away with not with doing not? that yet. I'll do a save, just in case. Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, uh, yeah, Captain... I'm just saying, this, these games have done some... Th also, 1670 out of 5,000. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sunk my bar. All right. Uh... All right, Lee. Set a course for Beverly Hills. Excellent. Easiest one to remember. Absolutely. Uh, and then light speed. Uh, so what did you think that whole mission? Flower uh, drool? 
Uh, looks like we're stuck with another crummy job again. You're really surprised, sir. No, I just thought they might give us a break. Eh, fat chance. By the way, Captain, what you did for Cliffy back there at the station? It's really great, sir. A lot of commanders would have just left him there to rot. That diversion with the space monkeys. Very creative, sir. That was stupid. That was pretty brilliant, wasn't it? Now don't get all puffed up on me, Captain. I'll have to smack you upside the head. <laughs> Dang. Tell me about your mother, Drool. I prefer to keep our mothers out of this, sir. But I must admit I've entertained some rather amusing speculations about your progenitors. <laughs> Dang. Uh, What do you know about Clorox 2 Flow? Not much, Captain. Just that it's a small colony on the fringe of the G6 Quadrant. Name rings a bell somewhere, but I can't quite place it. Why don't you go back and lie down? Bring you a, hop, a, cut off, a, a cup of hot tea and give you a back rub when you think about it. Huh? You want to give me a what? A back rub, sir. You know, you lie down, then I'll start with your shoulders and work my way down. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, sir. I think Flo's opinion of you has altered somewhat, Captain. Uh, no thank you, Flo. I think I'm good. <laughs> you have a cute butt for an uptight white boy, sir. Okay. She changed her tune pretty quick. <laughs> She's looking at you like your dinner. Uh, I mean, there are worse things. <laughs> I'm an all-you-can-eat Jimmy Buffett. Oh. <laughs> Regular speed. <laughs> she is looking for marriage number 19. You know, they say 19th time lucky. Who's they? What's the <laughs> Flo. What, what, what's that show, 19 and counting? <laughs> That's strange. I'm not tracking away speaking. Maybe we should investigate. I can put us in orbit to take a closer look, Captain. Okay. All right. Have a orbit. concern. All right. Well, let's go uh, do some investigationing. Oh, this looks suspicious. I better go down with you. Meet me in the transport room, Captain. Drool is ready to rock. Yeah. Uh, he did the bad boy stuff and blew a space station up. Standard girl stuff. Hey, you I... know what? Fair. Although I'm not sure I appreciate the methods of how we blew... Oh, hey! Oh. Our murder bot's up and running. It does appear that way. Uh, WD-40 is an annihilated android. Yada, yada, yada. What do you make of this situation, WD-40? There are two possibilities. Either the colonists cannot answer, or they will not answer our hails. In any case, it is our duty to investigate. Is it? I thought we were a garbage scow. But we're a garbage scow of the Star Federation. There you go, buddy. There we go. We close the lid. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> All right, and then we'll do another quick little save here. Yeah, you suck my bars good enough. <laughs> Drool, got, Drool got no action in that bar fight. His fists are fuel of righteous fury. Energize! It's maybe dangerous, Captain. Let's split up so we can cover more territory. Oh, so split up and look uh, for clues? Don't you think we should stick together? Only if you make a quick wardrobe change, sir. This isn't the time to play fashion critic, Drool. It's just that your shirt is so, well, red, sir. It's bad luck. <laughs> it's <laughs> only <laughs> in OG Star Trek. And then he just walks off. He's just like, I ain't dealing with you. Tumbleweed! Oh, it's a tumbleweed. It's a tumbling. It is it actual tumbleweed or is it rolled dangerous? along with the dumbling tumbleweeds? It's just tumbleweed. I don't trust it. So we can go towards the camp. We can go right. We can just look look around. Look around you. This building has a large hole ripped in the side of it. 
ripped is not a good word. Excuse me. Hastily sealed hey, up buildings and <laughs> indicated <laughs> rapid abandonment by their occupants. Hastily sealed up buildings. Scorch mark attests to the recent use of the colony shuttle pad. Ooh. I had to get out quick. Two terrestrial moons named Larry and Moe by the colonists are visible above the horizon of Clorox 2. <laughs> what about the third moon? <laughs> Curly! Uh... uh <laughs> I, that, I was going to say Curly, but it's fine. You can say Curly. <laughs> shemp? Yeah, Shemp. Shemp? <laughs> uh, abandoned mining tools and machinery are strewn carelessly about, as if their owners left in a hurry. Uh, let's go to the right first. I don't know. I'll watch out for the tumbleweed. I don't trust it. <laughs> Ooh. Genetics primordial soup. <laughs> Suspicious looking object which you can't quite discern from your recent location is wedged on the rocks above you. Can we get to that somehow? Uh, not from here. Okay. So, but now you know it's there. Okay. I can go for some primordial soup right about now. Uh, mm, also, just to, 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 to figure it out. Curly, the third moon. <laughs> Aha, perfect. <laughs> you just had to figure it out. Uh, is it huge or just in the foreground? It's in the foreground. Uh, so now what? Where do you want to go? I guess down into the city. Uh, to see a marching band? No. I do not want to join the Black Parade. <laughs> Not today. Everybody's doing it. If everybody jumped off a bridge, would you? Uh, yeah, because if everyone's doing it, it's pretty cool. That's, that's a good point. I, I want a cup of coffee. Coffee now? That does not surprise me. Well. For reasons, I'm going to save the game. Um, who is that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm Don't worried about it! <laughs> uh... Kicking rocks. Clorox. Let's look around. This looks like a busted and abandoned greenhouse. Calling greenhouses and shambles. Broken computers and twisted machinery have been strewn about everywhere. Oh, a small computer console appears to be the only piece of machinery in working order inside the entire greenhouse. Let's go check it out. Oh, something just dripped into the dripper. Oh. Oh boy! Found Shemp. Find him! Well, well, aren't you an ugly one? I was ugly like you once, but look at me now. Hey, Perhaps Bob, I, can, we need to I can make you pretty like me, hmm? I try to dodge my death loogies, monkey boy. Uh, you know, a little hemorrhoidal ointment can get that rash in your face right up. Now get off of me! Dodge! Oh, no, oh, I gotta dodge the other way first. Uh. Nice reflexes. Try ducking next time. Okay, so I think I gotta dodge the other way first. Okay. That's gross. Oh, it looks like he dropped something, too. Oh, he uh, did. I didn't notice that the first time. Is that why he died? Just so I could see it again? Yes. Oh. No. And then the smooth. game just crashed. <laughs> smooth move, x -Lax. Uh, It was so smooth that the game just crashed. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Something like that. THX. <laughs> yeah. Coffee now has his coffee now. Oh, perfect. Restore old game. Glad I saved for even more reasons. 
He mutated right into oblivion. All right. That, 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 that. No, the game is struggling. Come on. I should be. I should have the hardware to be able to play this game. <laughs> yeah, you would think. From like 91 or 92, whenever this game was made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you stop it? Thank you. <laughs> Ow! Thank you, Drool. Nice shooting, Tex. Thought I was dog meat for sure. Hey, he's a real looker. I better scout around and see if there's any more of these creatures I can blow away. <laughs> Meet you back on the ship. Hey, Not too much fun, buddy. <laughs> uh, let's go grab that paper and... He's undergoing some kind of metamorphosis. Yeah, from living to dead. He's halfway through. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Thank you. At last. I'm free. What happened here? Entire colony... Mutated. Oh. Bad soup. Secret path. Over the ridge. Ah. What a bunch of gibberish. <laughs> Not <laughs> gibberish. <laughs> uh, Check the console and we need to grab that paper. Uh, oh. Uh, let's see. Let's go grab the paper first. Probably a good idea. The battered scrap appears to have some writing on it. Seems like a All password right. to something. Is the same number on my luggage. <laughs> uh, it's flaring outside. The bear needs to hibernate. Yeah. I haven't looked outside, but there's a good chance it is where I'm at, too. Personal log. Clorox Sioux Colony Administrator. Harry Carey. Stardate 3012.68. Something very strange has been going on here in the colony since the Goliath's last visit. A small survey team a week overdue, uh, is a week overdue, and there's been reports of strange creatures roaming the Badlands. No doubt it's just a bit of cabin fever from the more imaginative types, but I'm worried that, uh, of the disappearance of the survey team. Okay. Uh, personal log. I'm becoming more and more alarmed. The search party dispatched to learn the fate of the survey team hasn't reported back for more than 50 hours. Fear spurned on by more wild rumors about the creatures in the colony has, uh, is, has the colony on the verge of panic. Personal log. God help us. A band of the hideous mutant creatures attacked the colony last night. Very few of us escaped the massacre, and I've been wounded slightly. It's no doubt that these creatures are intelligent and even appear to have a rudimentary understanding of technology. They have captured the shuttle pad, cutting off our only means of escape. Using my personal passcodes, I've sealed the colony so that the creatures will no longer be able to get to any of the undamaged structures. Personal log. I'm in agony, and the wound I receive burns like fire. An hour ago, the mutant creatures blasted off in the colony shuttle. As I climbed the boarding ramp, I got my first good look at the creature in the daylight. It was hideous. The tattered rags he wore, uh, the remnants of a survey team's survival suit. I have a terrible suspicions about the fate of the colonists, and I am now utterly alone on this planet. Dying. I hope. End. Uh. Alright then. So, uh, there you go. Alright, so the mutants got off the planet. That's most of something. them. <laughs> well, yeah, most of them. Okay. All right. So that guy rambled to you about uh, the about mysterious... a secret secret path. Yeah. The soup in a ridge. What if we try going this way? So oh dang it! You weren't supposed to go back down that hole. Yeah, follow that tumbleweed. <laughs> If I just click in a general over here direction a bunch, will he find it? Will it go? 50-50. Yeah. Okay. We're in. Perfect. And then just wait for it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Canister bears the phrase primordial soup and the logo of the Genetics Research Corporation. 
Small label near the bottom reads, ominous description, biohazard, teratogenic substance, do not expose to direct sunlight, air, or water, do not ingest, inhale, or allow contact with exposed skin. <laughs> well... Another fine product from your Genetics Research Corp, 41666, uh, Sector G6. Of course. We're gonna need Another that. location. Uh, the certain general warnings that handling a toxic waste container may be hazardous to your help. So yeah, we just needed that code. Okay. So I'll just... Uh... <laughs> just love the slow slide in and out of frame. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's just go over here. And, uh, let's, let's get back on our ship. This is Eureka. Go ahead, Captain Wilco. Wanted to beam up, Flo. Oh, great. Just when I was fighting, finally starting to unwind up here. Thanks, Flo. <laughs> You're the best, Flo. Oh! Oh, hold on. G give me a second. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. First try. <laughs> Your president screwed. <laughs> Every time you teleport, there's a small chance something happens. Well, all right then. All right. Just let that save real quick, and then let's head to a uh, genetics corporation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <coughs> I always love his, like, stutter step off of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fall. Look, he'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, Bonk. He's clanging away. Keep up the good work. We eugenics away a space station to save you. Uh, and now we're going to go to just this random place that we found a thing for and mess with things above our pay grade. Yeah. All of this is above his pay grade. Picking up a weak signal on emergency frequency, Captain. Putting it on screen. <laughs> mayday, Mayday. This is the SES Goliath. Any Confederation ships in range, please respond. SCS Goliath, repeat, we're under attack. They came through. Shuttle Bay. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I've lost the transmission. The message was too brief to pin down the exact source, but I've narrowed it down to the region of the Thoracus system. Meanwhile, on the SCS Goliath. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> That is what I was is going for. It's also juicy. <laughs> oh, he's he's doing well. All right. Well, I suppose we now have two destinations. I think I used to work with that guy. <laughs> well, let's go to the the one that we were gonna go first to anyway. Even though that one uh, <laughs> seems like it's more of an emergency. It sure is. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. <laughs> Look, we, we we travel at the speed of light. It's like a basic quick detour. Ah, uh, sure, sure. Uh, what do you make of the glides? The last transmission flow? It's highly irregular, sir. Quirk sounded like he was in big trouble. You're right. I've never seen him so upset. Except maybe that time when he fell on his fanny in front of Ambassador Wankmeister. You notice his face? Looks like he's developed some sound of skin problem. Once I had a nasty rash similar to that, it was awful. Couldn't sit comfortably for weeks. What should we do about it? I recommend washing the affected area daily and wearing an anti <laughs> antibiotic lip balm. Talking about the message flow. Oh, well, in that case, I think we should try to rendezvous with the Goliath and render whatever, uh, whatever aid we can immediately. Yeah, but it's Captain Quirk. Where did it originate from? Thoracus. Uh, what's your read on the situation, Drool? Hard to say, sir. That whole business back on the planet definitely pegged the weird meter. Something really stinks around here. Uh, but I just put on a fresh batch of roll-on. Not you, sir. I just meant that something fishy's going on. I have a stinking suspicion that Quirk may be involved. 
Makes you think so. Clorox 2 is in the Goliath's patrol sector. If anything happened to the colony, Quirk would have been the first one they called. Vicious. I mean, and the, the the captain's log thing down there did say that stuff started being weird after the Goliath left. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Regular speed! Slam on the space brakes. Uh, let's, uh, just orbit. Look, maybe we can find something here that can help, help Goliath in their troubles. Uh. Being held, Captain. Put it on screen. Ah, it's you again. Oh, unauthorized ship, you are trespassing in an Alpha-1 security zone. Your entity has been recorded and is being forwarded to the proper authorities. Depart immediately. Station out. Okay. No. Goodbye. Oh. Yeah, maybe we can't go here yet. Um. All right. Well, what's the coordinates to Thoracus then? Uh. Take it easy, Fluffy Foxy. Five, three, two, eight, four. Horn is locked in. We'll be back to this space station. You weird poopy monster. Okay. James, I have a problem. Yes. I'm kind of thirsty. I ran out of Coke Zero and all I have is this Coke move. <laughs> That sounds like you have a solution. Yeah, but I don't want to. But it's alcohol. I don't want to yeah. put this solution in my body. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you could always just go and get a tall, refreshing glass of water. Well, yeah, but that's not right next to me. <laughs> well, look. Uh, yes, Phoenix Coke Move. It's a new experimental flavor that I was like, I'll try it because I had a zero variant. It's bad. I will say, I Coke it. has been trying all sorts of new experimental flavors lately. They've all been terrible. <clears throat> oh, no readings on the Goliath, Captain, but I am picking up on an escape pod locator beacon on the planet's surface. Well, go get it! Okay, well, we'll, we'll go into standard orbit here. Can we, can, we hit, can we hail it? Can we scan the planet? We got a oh. robot lady now. We, we could scan the planet. What function may I assist you with, Captain? Scan the planet. Eh. The atmosphere of this planet is highly toxic to human, humanoid life forms, Captain. Oh, that's... You require anything further. Huh. Scan for ships. Indeterminate readings, sir. If there are any ships within scanning range, they're jamming us. Uh, recommendation? The most logical course of action is to beam down to investigate the source of the beacon, Captain. I recommend an expeditious survey. Uh, however, my calculations indicate a 67.5% probability that another ship is in range of the marker beacon. Due to the unusual nature of the circumstances it currently find ourselves in, it might be unwise to attract attention to our presence here. One more additional piece of data, sir. The atmosphere of this planetoid is highly toxic to humanoid life forms. You must utilize a breathing apparatus on the surface or perish. You require anything further, Captain? We'll go. Jeez, I'm going to start doing that on every planet. <laughs> Just to be sure. Okay. I guess we only we only we've only been down to one other planet so far, but meh. We didn't have a science officer until recently. It's fine. That that's true. Um. Uh, that's well. That one planet you were on is where the science new science officer returned to kill you. That's that's icky true. Icky planet. Plant it. Pla planet. Plant it. <laughs> is icky. Okay. There we go. Nice and saved up. So you need to find a way to uh, not die. Engineer, help! <laughs> oh, you're just over there picking your butt. Well, it is Roger Wilco. Someone's going to do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, you can ask Flo. Well, <laughs> Flo just might. Wait! Uh, Scruffy! Uh, hey. 
<laughs> Cliffy's considerable girth prevents you from squeezing past him in the tube. All right. Uh, well. Uh. Yeah. Do we have other? Do we have anyone else we haven't checked? Mm, trying to order yourself around? Pretty weird, if you ask me. But just then, what do I know? I'm just the narrator. Hmm. Here. Is there like a button on the wall? <coughs> uh, I, I don't know. Let's go over here. Okay. Just wear a spike. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. Yes, Captain. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? I'm fully operational and all my circuits are functioning perfectly. Great. Sweet. Good job. You're a robot. Can you go Man, down to the planet playing that game of Pong up there is killing it. I know, right? They're, they're really Both nailed. players. I know I have to go down to get the the stuff, but I don't know how to get down there. Probably the big red button. Maybe he's too gross in what he's doing to talk to you. All right, fine. I'm just going to start pressing buttons. This is your fault, Cliffy. Good job, mate. I look like it worked. I nailed it. One and done. Perfect. All right. Oh. Oh, spacesuit. Cliffy's favorite pressure suit until the seat ripped out in his last tour of duty. Oh dear. This pressure suit is intended for the captain's use. Unfortunately, it's much too small to fit you. Maybe you should go on a diet. Oh dang. Emergency override controls for the airlock are located on this pedestal. I don't push that. Uh, can we just, uh... Not here. Walk up to it and then... Not here? Not here. Not here? Not here. Uh... Oh, hold on. What are these? Yuga's pod bay is probably one of the last used areas of the ship. None of the crew like to come here because of what the previous captain had his accident. Mm. Uh, is the thing on the wall next to the suits like a like a little cabinet? Oh, oh, I think you might be onto something. Aha! Aha! Okay, what's that? That's oxygen, I'm assuming. Tanks a lot, it's full of air. Okay, that's like... A part of what we need. We just need a way to breathe the air. Uh, let's see. Is there another? You put it. You put it away. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> what about here? Is that, is that something? Ha ha ha! That's more like it. Standard issue: a Star Confederacy rebreather mask. There you go. This is only effective for a limited time. Don't use it unless you really need it. Okay. Well, I, I got the mask and I got air. All right, so... Uh, put it in the suit. I, I think this should be all I need, but I can try to... Just be like, eh. Not necessary. Uh, eh? How do I? Am I near? Open up! I command you. Yes. Well, I mean, you could go back to the panel. Maybe there's a button on there. Uh, ah. Oh, oh, hey, look! Very, very Star Trek. Uh, elevator door. There we go. Perfect. Can you attach the air to the breather? I, I tried combining them a second ago. They weren't having it. Uh, inventory combos are a thing sometimes. But I think we're good now. So I'm going to stand on 
the thing, and then I'm going to attempt to put on my mask. Maybe a good save here? Yes. Icky plant is icky. Uh, also, James, I, I apologize. My timing estimates were way off because I forgot about battle cruisers. <laughs> That'll probably be fun. Uh, put on mat. Put, put on the mat. There we go. Perfect. And then it just automatically is like, go! Alright then. Alright. Oh, well, we want that escape pod. Oh, there's yeah. a thing! Yeah, there sure is. Your interior of the craft is not visible from your present location. All you can tell is that it looks like an escape pod. Oh, what is that little bugger? Uh, he's like that... a slug thing. Oh yeah, he's just a slug. He's a foreground slug, slugging about. He's a slug -a bed Hashtag slug life. Yeah. I didn't choose the slug life. Slug life chose you. But I would have had presented the opportunity. <laughs> uh, how do I... That looked right. Yeah, I thought so, but Roger's not having it. Oh. No. Sure. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, did that hurt? It looked really painful. What you do? Got poked. Uh. Ow, it still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> you must be a glutton for punishment. Uh no. Oh. Is there Do I poke it with a stick? <laughs> Maybe? It's not necessary. It's an interesting idea. Hmm. Can you get closer? Uh, this is about as close as I can get. I don't know. You can't poke it, you can't look at it. Uh, not here. You're either a masochist or a moron. Hmm. Yeah, call me, call me. Can you get closer to look in? I tried. Because it kept saying that you were... I'm like, I'm, I'm right as close to it as it lets me get. Uh... Oh, yeah, now it lets me. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Grab oh, it's you. a big red button. Grab you. I I would have looked at the button before pushing it, but... <laughs> Look, you said big red button. Here this pod can't be far away. Uh, let's see. Safety harness for a light uh, for the escape pod sways gently in a light breeze. Uh, yeah, and I don't think I can grab any of that. Thankfully, the, that red button didn't explode anything, but it, it does sound like it made the beeping sound. Yeah. yeah. Stop. Which is good, because... As our robot friend said, we don't want to attract attention. Turning off the distress beacon. Good for that sort of thing. Uh, okay. Maybe Accidental we... good move, sir. Yeah. I nailed it. Uh, let's see. What if we go check out over here? Oh, that's fancy hey music. <laughs> and down we go. Hold on. <laughs> Help me, woke up. I'm slipping. She only had something for me to grab onto. Oh, she's saying I got no booty. Damn, son. Oh. This pukeoid mucans found me. Do something, Wilco. You're the one that knocked us off the cliff. No. Uh, give me your hand or something and I'll climb over you and pull you up after me. No. Oh, she got gooped. Uh, 
<laughs> just climb. Pull me up, please. Excuse me, please. Help! Oh, leaving us to die. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, they really caught me with my pants down. Dig <laughs> Uh -oh. oh boy. Oh, I know what I was supposed to do there. So, Space Hero, you are. Sheesh, you couldn't adventure yourself out of a damp, tailless container without a third party intervention. But, uh. Oh. That seemed rough. We're gonna have to do We're it sort again. Of... Yeah, I, I thought that part was gonna be automatic. It was not. But I, I know what to do there. Do you now? Yeah. How, how do we get back on the ship? Oh, yeah. Call for teleport? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Well, shucks. <laughs> I thought there were cutscene in. I was just waiting for th that to happen. And I was about to be like, look how gooped we are. But really? And then we were actually just very gooped. <laughs> I was like, well, never mind. Way to go. Oh, uh, look, it was, it was Goopy. We, we became part of the Goop Troop. ba ba da ba 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 do wop <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try not to hurt ourselves on the, the hot exterior of the ship. It is going beep, beep, boop. Grab that, grab that. Walk well, away. Save. Uh, all right, fine. Oh, no. On the one hand, save is smart. On the other hand, it takes a full two minutes to save. <laughs> it, it takes a while. Look, this is very advanced 1992 technology. <laughs> I'm just saying, this game is technically more advanced than the previous ones, and it feels a little janker. Which feels weird. Look, the more advanced games get, the more jank they get. Just look at uh, look at Bethesda. Yes, like something, something Bethesda. It's a feature. It's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes. You're. I got no ass. Do something, Wilco! Splat. Climb the coat! Now get me a vine, like actually quickly. This is the most inaccurate super suckers ever. I wonder if I have to pre-game call them here? now. Flo, have clicky units out of here. Take a few moments to calibrate the beam. Uh, the beam out coordinates, Captain. Please hang on for a minute. That's what I had in mind. Uh, Cliffy says your present orientation won't fit within the containment field of the transporter beam. They're clearing a few meters from your position. Can you make it there? Do you have any choice? Not really. You're out. <laughs> that was what I had to do. Ah. I remember standing around here just forever, not like the, it's like I felt like I had to do something, but this time we weren't caught with our pants down. <laughs> yeah, because I said this this whole thing is a cutscene. I couldn't do anything here. I had to have already done it. Aha! Hey, Max. How's it going, Max Raven? Thunk, thunk, thunk. Uh. 
Uh, sorry, I tried to kick your butt back there on the planet, Captain Wilco. Thought you were one of those pukoid mutants. Call me Roger. Don't worry about it. I don't think I'm going to make it, Roger. One of those bastards nicked me with that awful primordial soup. Don't worry, we'll fix you up. There's got to be a cure. I'm afraid not. The only thing you can do is slow down the mutations by putting me in cryogenic suspension. Well, it's a good thing we got uh, one of those. Beatrice, you're asking me to freeze you. We were getting along so well. I must admit, I thought you were a real putz back at the Academy, Roger. But you've turned out to be an okay guy. Maybe even more than okay. But we don't have any time for that now. I'm probably not going to make it. The Pukoids have stopped before, or have to be stopped before they trash the entire Star Confederation. Oh, the Goliath would be parsecs away by now. We'll never catch them before they reach Starcon. They weren't going to get far without this. It's the Goliath's warp, warp distributor cap. Of course. <laughs> B, you're a genius. I know. Ugh. Now put me in the crowd chamber. Quickly. What the? Who's that, Captain? Ambassador White. My Western. wife. <laughs> she escaped from the Goliath. Her entire crew has been infected by some strange substance, and they're turning into hideous pequoid mutants. We gotta get her stabilized before she turns into one herself. What should I do? I'm an engineer, not a doctor. You do uh, better do something quick, though. She's starting to look a little greener on the gills. Well, we got a beer fridge. That's close enough, right? Yeah. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. What does this button do? Uh, all right. Open up. You get a you, you get a good night's sleep, but you're still hungry. Just uh, here you go. Take a nice little nap. I'd like to think that we didn't bother to remove the beer cans. Well, look, so she's just in there, surrounded by beer. She needs a drink. Uh, the modern equipment indicates Beatrice is in very poor health. Uh, cryo Book. it's the cryo chef I'm going to have you look at this because it's important uh, hot dogs, coffee freeze ambassador 10 second freeze hamster. cheeseburger, fudgicle, 5 pound rump roast hot chocolate, hamster or at giblets, ambassador defrost <laughs> so 10 so, seconds freeze and defrost, that's pretty yes. good so cryo freeze 10 seconds It's a good thing we had those ambassador instructions, otherwise we mm. would have done something bad. I mean, it's possible they mean the hot dogs, but... <laughs> uh, Bia has been successfully placed in hibernation. The mutation process has been slowed, but she's not out of the woods yet. <laughs> yes, you can absolutely cook her. Weirdly enough, it ends the game. What? <laughs> uh, because paradoxy tiny wami. Yeah, if you don't get together with B, then you can't have a kid. Then if you don't have a kid, you can't get saved in Space Quest 4. And it becomes a whole thing. Yeah, but it. But also, if we don't have a kid, then he can't steal our kid. Meaning that Space Quest 4 just doesn't happen at all, including the bad stuff. You're going to splint your brain. <laughs> don't Try not to hurt yourself. Uh, okay. Now I think we can go to that other place, though. I think. We got Beatrice on ice. Uh, give ourselves another another save. Because I do not trust the longevity of this video game. My wife. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cook my wife. Hold on. There's easier ways to get your wife hot. Stop it. <laughs> uh, Sorry, Vod Bun. <laughs> uh, we found the Goliath, sir. Or rather, she found us. The Goliath's approaching at high speed. She's aiming her torpedoes. Uh, shields up. Uh, Ray shields. Hi, hi, Captain. Uh, evasive actions. Uh, evasive action. You don't have any reason reason to retreat at present. I don't trust it. I'll uh, just leave the shields up and then. Uh, can we get out of order? Play a course. Uh, Can't do that right now. Nope. Oh, do well. We have to wait? Oh, okay. Oh, they shot at us. A brilliant observation, Flo. 
Well, don't just sit there, Captain. Do something. She's coming around again. Let's okay. try that evasive actions again. But, sir, that'll take us directly into the asteroid field. It'd be suicide. Uh, risk I mean... some certain death in the asteroid field. Look at today, boys. I think we can take the Goliath. Or maybe right, just sit here actual... and maybe they won't notice us. Actual battleship versus garbage scow. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. Asteroid field? Asteroid field. There's no way we're winning this in a, in a, in a straight fight. Just fire Spike at him. <laughs> it's... It'll win eventually. That's potentially true. Oh, the Goliath is lining up his sights. Oh, like that. Behind the rocks. Wee! See you, nerd. <laughs> oh, I just realized what's about to happen. We're being held by the Goliath, Captain. Putting it on screen. Oh. Hello again, Wilco, you insignificant little pimple on the behind of humanity. Speaking of Bustiel's quirk, you've never looked better. Ah, you pathetic fool. You have no idea what you're up against. I'm gonna puke out the entire galaxy, starting with Starcon. Not if I have anything to say about it. Ah, your puny ship is no match for the Goliath. Correct, oh. that's why I ran into the rocks. Au revoir, broom jockey. Next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. I've told you once before, I have a mop. Call by Sprint. That's Captain Broom Jockey. Captain, yeah. I'm gonna have to make an EV or uh, take an, or make an EVA to repair the damage from the Goliath's attack. You monitored me on the audio over the comm circuit in my pressure suit. Uh huh. Be careful, Cliffy. Oh, bye, Cliffy. Isn't there a giant hole in the ass of his suit? Uh, yes, sir. Preparing oh, to exit right. Bond Pay Airlock. Look, I'm sure he'll be fine. Heading towards the port stabilizer. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> <laughs> It's only take a minute. I just need to make a few minor adjustments. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> okay, Captain, that's got her. I'm coming back. <laughs> Cliffy! Cliffy! <laughs> Cliffy, no! <laughs> WD-40, you're up. Say, Captain, am I just seeing things? Or is that gentleman floating out there in space with the su surprised expression on his face, our chief engineer? I'll get him. <laughs> uh, after a quick word from our sponsor, the save button and Sprint. By Sprint. <laughs> save button brought to you by Sprint. Can you uh, save me now? Good. That wasn't Sprint. I know, but it's funny. <laughs> uh, but in space, nobody can see you, Sprint. <laughs> they can't ever see you saunter. Oh, and I will. <laughs> Things are happening. Uh, do do do. All of these hits to our hall. Probably. So why did Cliffy need to go for a spacewalk in the middle of a firefight? Uh, to repair the ship. Because uh -huh. the, the, the torpedo did some damage. Uh, pod rotation. Yeah, went towards that door. Uh, yeah, and I think we just we just skadoodle on in here. Things are moving at the speed of plot now. Yeah. All right, Cliffy, I'm coming. Okay, I gotta remember how things work here. So. Uh, oh yeah, that's the that's the arm. Uh, Do we have to turn to get? Yeah. yeah. Is he the red dot? 
or the green dot. Head towards red dot and hope for the best. Oh, that looks like a cliffy. Oh, come on. Get in here. Grab him by the junk. Oh boy. He's gonna splat on the windshield like a oh. sea monkey. Can this. Is that not good enough? You gotta grab by the midsection. Uh, oh no. Just get him. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like he's as close as he's gonna get. Target in range. Oh, there you go. Claw. Clog. Push the button. Yeah. Alright. Now back to the Eureka if we can find it. Which I'm guessing is the green dot. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. A little bit of turn action. Oh, is that the... Oh, hold on. That looks suspiciously like the ship. Oh, our fuel's getting low. We gotta get there. That will probably be fine. Also, it's space. You can ah. just drift at this point. Good flying, Ace. You've returned safely to the Eureka. That part can be a pain, but... Uh... I'm impressed that it had a whole whopping minute and a half of fuel, too. <laughs> it's a huge tank. Uh, you okay, Cliffy? Just give me a minute to catch my breath, sir. Thanks for uh, pulling my butt out of the sling again, Captain. That's two, I owe ya. Think nothing of it, Chief. Okay, I won't. <laughs> but you need to get us out of here, sir. I don't watch longer than you can consider the pounding she's taking. Something giggity something. I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. Uh. All right. I think I, I what would have been funny just now is as you go to hit the button, the shake from being shot by the ship <laughs> could make you hit the wrong button and open yeah. the wrong door. Open the airlock and me and Cliffy just bye bye. <laughs> hey, you got to watch what button you push. Uh Oh, oh, he's reading Mad Magazine over there. Dude's got taste. Another quick safety save. And then I think now we head towards 41666. What it was? I think so. Yeah, the ge okay. genetic, genetic number of the beast. 41666, six, six, the genetic number of the beast. Uh, Land of course. Ouchie. Gordon, it's locked in. <laughs> oh, that's all it took to just. Swipe just away from the asteroids that were killing us. Space flight brought to you by Tinder. Just swipe right. <laughs> oh, everything hurts. To be fair, was it the asteroids that were killing us or was it the Goliath? Uh, in that point, the asteroids. Uh, seems a little on edge, Flo. Been through a lot in this mission, sir. You go and bring up that little tramp on board. Flo, I'm surprised at you. She's a ranking ambassador with the Star Confederacy. She's hurt. She needs our help. Maybe so, but you gotta wonder about a girl with a name like Wankmeister. <laughs> Damn! Not wrong. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> also willing to investigate. <laughs> Any ideas of how we could stop the Goliath? 
I don't know, sir. If we could sneak up on them somehow. Maybe sneak aboard and get control of their ship? They'd see us coming from a mile away on their scanners. What about a frontal assault? Even with my stunning accuracy, it'd be a Googleplex to one shot. We'd probably be vaporized. Yeah, I don't I don't reckon that that's a good yeah, good idea. Because they would see us coming. But you're saying there's a chance. It, it's, a, it's an unfortunate that they would see us coming. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear what you're saying, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Chekhov's gun and whatnot. I think Still Drool has a... Chekhov's gun and he shot that guy with it. <laughs> Still think it's a bad idea. <laughs> uh, standard orbit. Let's see if the dung heap guy is still here doesn't look the same as before it does not it's missing three domes first off <laughs> what happened it's a little different uh well let's let's uh, scan the planet I've detected power fluctuations in time the Dome, sir sensors registered debris in the area as well no ships Okay. Well, let's go uh, see what we can find. Come, Chauncey. Fire photon torpedoes at glass dome. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, just go for a, a nice jaunt. In this place where nothing bad could possibly happen. I don't like the way you're saying that. Saying what? Uh, your words. What, what words? I've never once said a word. Oh, oh geez. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, hold, hold on to your butts, everybody. Looks like you've had a zany transporter blooper, Raj. Quick, get a camera. Galactic Inquirer will pay you ten buckazoids if they can publish your photo. Hmm. Oh, man. Also, you also uh, dropped our communicator? Goodbye. Um. Oh! Yeah. No, we didn't drop the communicator. This one's us. Got it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Or too too small to hit the buttons. It does seem that way. Uh, can we talk at it? There's no one to talk to. You haven't even turned it on. Roger does struggle with that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well. He's gonna have to eventually. Sometimes. All right. Well, what do we do? Do we? Let's fly around. <laughs> <laughs> Hate it. Uh, fly around looking for oh, there's something. Yeah, oh, what's that over there? Uh, what's just happened? Why is he fly? Zany transporter malfunction. Oh, walk through carefully. Yeah. Oh, is that like a locking mechanism? It is. Pay attention to what lines do what. Why? Hope okay. you got it all. Probably. I'm going to say yes. Uh. Well, let's uh. See what's on this computer. Uh, about to be applied. Hold on, if I can get down in there, on there. Danger! Emergency jettison sequence activated. Dome jettison will occur in jettison complete. Oh, that's why it's missing the domes. Oh, hold on. Genetics! We play God, so you don't have to. Too real? Uh, uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, systems. Uh, 
data link non-functional. Data link non-functional. Uh, operational. Standby power. Backup computing systems online. Okay. Uh, security? Well, I found where body Roger body went. All right, we need to find that dumpster. And that's where we were. Yep. Oh, uh, Cliffy and WD-40 are on the planet now. Well, that's helpful. It's about time Cliffy fixed that dang transporter. I'm really going to bug him about this one for a long time. <laughs> Fly away. Do you get it? <laughs> I get it. Bug. Activity log. Uh, Astro Chicken 3 Hen House of Doom. Program initiated. Program terminated. And then terminated. Dang. All right, then. Very, various trigger. other stuff. A shot of them. Mm. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Just look at the projects real quick. Primordial soup. Feasibility study of metabacterial transformations and terraforming space colony applications. Project goal: create a survivable and highly adaptable metabacteria to enable trans uh, terraforming on planets currently unsuitable for human habitation. Description: It's gross. So, essentially, it's the Genesis Project from the other Star Trek movie. <laughs> what? No. Space Quest 5, really just. <laughs> uh, man, Astro Chicken 3 cost freaking over 1500 buckazoids for <laughs> classification yeah. research. I mean. Oh. Yeah. Freaking Quirk got uh, <laughs> classification bribe. <laughs> 50,000. <000. laughs> 900,000 baud modem. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Amigo yeah. 9000. Dandy 2500 sucks. Furniture. <laughs> hmm. what? I, I, I am curious what that is. Are you? I'm not sure if I want to know. A uh, laser pet, misc. <laughs> oh, even more bribes to quirk. I what? like the Corona Ale cases for testing. What about the novelty teeth? Personal. <laughs> and the phony camcorder? <laughs> That's for research. Mm hmm. Uh. Okay, well, we've seen everything we got to see here. Quirk was getting a lot of bribing. Yeah. Fly away. Uh, release the specimens. In my fly form, I can't do much else in here. Oh, God. Being a fly sucks. Uh, let's go bug Cliffy. <laughs> Cliffy. Hey. Hey, Cliffy. I think he just killed you. Oh, okay. he did. And when did you last save it? Been a minute. You know, it's about 10 o'clock. Maybe, maybe this is going to be a two-parter series. <laughs> kind of looking like it. That's fair. Because uh, we still have a bit to do. So I feel like this is a good place to stop. So, uh, all right, we'll, we'll re-become a fly again next week. <laughs> uh, I forgot he swatted me as a fly. That's annoying. Can't believe he killed his <laughs> captain. I saved his life twice. Yep. Killed me. Sure. You did. Uh, well, in any case, we'll, we'll end the stream there. We'll continue this on next week. Uh, so I guess on that note, I hope you all have a good rest of your week. All that fun stuff. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.
Bye. Later, everybody.